everyone, and welcome back to the stream. Glad to have you with me. Uh, sorry, I'm a little low energy right now. That's okay, though, because we're still going to get through it. Uh, one way or another, I'm determined to not uh, stop this stream. I want to actually keep this going. I want to try and hold to it because I tried very hard to actually keep this Project Zomboy stream. I already canceled it once because of the mental health stuff, and I don't want to cancel it again. Uh, also, hey, Minnie, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Hope everything is going good. Uh, hope everything continued to go good for the Nuzlocke. I, I sort of had to AFK for a while at the end of your stream. Uh, get some other stuff done. Start some dinner. I've actually got my dinner sitting right next to me. Uh, some lovely... Uh, Greek grilled cheese, so it's nice. Uh, I haven't taken a bite yet, though. Is it, we basically finished it as I was doing the countdown and finished like three minutes out from it. So I haven't had a chance to eat yet. But yes, today we are doing some Project Zomboid. I know it's not exactly a day that we usually stream, but again, because we cancel on Tuesday, we're, we're doing it today. So we are going to be... We're going to be trying to make our way back to Louisville. And for that, we're going to need some supplies. Because we can't actually spawn directly in Louisville. As it is right now. Uh, so we're going to have to get some supplies. We're going to have to figure out which one the closest to Louisville is. And spawn there. I got third gym badge. Managed not to lose anyone this time. That is a step in the right direction. Most certainly. So if I look up Project Zomboid map. I'm just going to do this real quick before we actually get into the game. Uh, there is a map project team. I, I, I can't sit here on mic and... Best get to it. Everyone say hi to Tori. Hi everyone. So we here's our problem. I don't think any of the I don't think any of the starting positions really put us too close to Louisville. Uh, Muldraws, no, Riverside maybe. Is that Riverside that I'm looking at? There's Riverside over here. No, Riverside's over there. Okay. Uh, Rosewood. Rosewood is a big no, isn't it? Hmm. Trying to find the closest place to it. Yeah, Tori has left the room. Now, the problem with that map is that it is very laggy on my phone. So let's see. Let's try to do a closest spawn to Louisville. There we go. How do I get to Louisville? Well, you fucking walk there, my guy. That would be the best one. Uh, no. So West Point is closest to Louisville. Okay. 
I know I'm still in the chat scene. I know. We haven't actually gotten into the game yet. I'm looking at stuff on my phone. Uh, so we are going to... We're probably going to spawn in West Point. We're going to grab... We're going we're gonna to go into the game scene soon. Let me take a little bite of my food here. I got some nice great gri bleh, Greek grilled cheese, as I said, with some, some hummus. I can't remember what kind of hummus it is. Is very good. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the game then. All right. Uh, hello. Capture, please. Pick up Project Zomboid. You were just pointed at it. I'm pointing you at it again. Hello? Okay, what if I point this at it? That works. Okay. We'll do this then. Yes, we want to spawn in West Point. Now we gotta create ourselves a character. Hmm. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. If we want to get into Louisville, let's start with... Oh, which one is it? Is it Burglar? It's not Burglar. Is it Burglar? No. Uh, there is one... Was like criminal or something like that. I suppose to start with the correct good good nut button. Also, hello, Mini Dodo sixty six. Welcome to the chat, my bud. Hope you're doing well. Uh, is it engineer? No, it's not engineer. There's one of these that is supposed to be able to basically let you hotwire cars right off the bat. So, I'm trying to remember which one it is. I thought it was Burglar. But it's not. Uh, unless it's that. Can hotwire vehicles. Yes, it is Burglar. I'm, I'm an idiot. It is. Uh, so, yeah. Can hotwire vehicles. Less chance of breaking the lock of a window. So, with this, we no longer need the key to a car to be able to use that car. And we also get some levels in light-footed, nimble, and sneaking. So let's go through our negative traits because we got negative six points. We're already starting at a bit of a, a bit of a detriment. So let's see here. Incomprehensive, ten to find less, no. Immunocompromised, and eh, no. Slow worker, ten to take longer getting things done. See, I would take slow worker if it didn't also increase the time to uh, move things between inventories. Hello, Hipu. I think the drop is a little broken right now. Uh, I could manually activate it, I think. Uh, control. I think it's control. No, shift F3. Uh, shift F3. That's a head pat. That's wrong. That's incorrect. That's big head. I don't know why I've got a big head now. Can I deflate that? That's a bonk. Ow. That's a throw. Okay, head is deflated. That's good. That was a noise. That's bits. Bits are raining down on me. Where's the drop? Drop is something. Damn it. Okay. Uh, features. I know you can kind of see it at this point. Uh, drop item. F9. Okay. So it should just be, maybe it should define, there we go, box, box, buy that, got like 10 different redeems for free, A everything just happened, it's fine, I'm going to take another little bite of my grilled cheese.
Put in a little bit more hummus. Why not? Mmm. Good stuff. Get a little bit of a little bit of soda. So lovely. All right. So we're gonna start with underweight. Uh slow healer. Lurking is like a dindin. Yeah. It's all good. Uh I just oh me and Tori just uh finished off dinner basically as I was setting up stream. So I I've got my next to me to do. Uh constantly tripping. Has to trip when running and sprinting noodle eggs. And I'm not not too sure of that one. Gain sickness while driving, motion sickness? No. Because we want the burglar. So we want we want ability to do the cars. Uh deprived? No. Anti gun activist. Uh protest against gun have no experience with them, making you worse at using them than others. You take longer to aim. You can't shoot far and become sad while using them. Uh you know what? You know what? Guns are kinda kind of not the way to go in this game we're gonna we're gonna do an anti-gun activist uh let's see here we are gonna do what else we're we gonna do uh should we get butterfingers I don't know. Mundane, your weapon attacks will never critically hit. Okay. So let, let's get mundane. Let's get... Moderate injuries? Mm, I don't know. Prone to illness, definitely. Weak stomach. Short-sighted. Sunday driver. Well, Sunday driver, eh, no. I, I think I'm just not going to do speed demon, is all it is. Uh, slow reader, certainly. Hmm. What else? What else? think that should be fine. We got 32 points to spend. So let's see what we can spend it on. Uh, ooh, we can get plus 8 first aid. That's a little crazy. Uh, strong or knockback from melee and increased carry weight. Is, Be is Beeple Box just entirely broken today? I don't know what it is. Let me try reconnecting it. I don't know. I at least I know the bonk. The bonk is this one. Yep. But hey, Eli, welcome to stream. Uh, so we're gonna go strong because get that strength. Uh what else should we get? Athletic can be gained by training fitness to level nine. Ooh, strong can also be gotten. Eh. You know, we'll start off with the strong. Let's not start off with the athletic. I uh, sure you didn't tamper with it, so I can't perfectly bonk every time I come in. I'm sure it breaks whenever it wants to. Uh, thick skinned, definitely. Uh, agile is very useful. Prowess with blunt. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? Let's get it. And then we'll take. What else should I get? Prone to becoming panic. Uh, so we get double the panic. Uh, I don't know how good I am with that. We'd have to find like some anti-anxiety meds or something. Plus 300% inventory transfer time. No, we're not doing that. Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. What else should we do? On fit, it's just minus four fitness. God, we'd start off with zero fitness. That sounds horrible. Um, playing Fallout 4 at the moment. Some replies from me might be a little slow. We lose another boy here. Uh, remember the last the last stream we did lose our boy. We did lose our boy, and we're gonna go reclaim him. Mm. Go grilled cheese. You know what? I think we're going to take Sunday Driver and just call it there. So let's roll until we get something interesting here. Crazy mask. Wait. Did I just get someone with a <laughs> Did I just get someone with a ski mask? Okay, I got to look real hard at these people. Okay, ski mask, Shirley Jackson. Not a good look. She kind of like the spy from Team Fortress 2. But still. This dude just kind of looks like Dave Grohl. Uh, eh. Let's do a couple more rolls, see if we can find someone real interesting. Scott Carter. This, this man is bohemian. This man is real bohemian. I feel like we're going with Scott here. Scott's our man. If he can't do it, it can't be done. Uh, make sure, not sun. I, I hate to get rid of the sunglasses. They are a fucking look. But he's short-sighted and needs regular glasses. You know, I feel like he's a blue glasses kind of man. So we're going to go with that. We could give him a balaclava. I, I feel like that's not the way to go, though. So reading glasses, blue glasses. Uh, I think everything else is fine there. So we'll just start it off. Still got three half sandwiches here. It's the end times. We're going to see how far Scott can take us and if we can get back into Louisville and reclaim our boy. Claim our boy Terry. This is how we died. Over and over and over again. That's how we died. Uh, how is it not? Hello? Why is it still showing the fat screen? What the hell is happening? Okay, hold on. Why are you doing this? Game, don't be a dick. Okay, now it's fine. No, now it's not fine. What the hell is happening? What? Uh huh? It, that it's following my cursor, but it, can we just display capture? Of course, no. We can? Can we? Good. Okay. Fucking hallelujah. Scott, my guy. Uh, first off, what have we got? We got baseball bat. Very important. Very important. Oh, we didn't actually take the proficiency with the baseball bat. Ooh, that's going to break faster. Oh, that's not ideal. Uh, do we have a can opener maybe in this house? We got a truck out there. Maybe that'll be useful. 
book we'll take with us. Sure. Grab the badge just in case. I don't... Back here it's smelting for dumb shits. Yeah. Let's take that. Why not? Yeah, I think that the first house you spawn in is always safe. But it's still good to just keep in mind. Just like always checking. Alright, so we got a Louisville map. That'd be useful if we needed a Louisville map. Uh, can we... Okay, so you're coming. Are you going to be okay? I think that one's just okay. Scott, buddy, let's fuck him up. There we go. Yeah, the dude's just... Just chill with it, apparently. He's just cool with it. So let us... Nope, he's not cool with it. Change his mind. Okay. As we were. Trying to check the status of this truck. Uh, no gas. But everything else is in pretty good working condition. So if we can find some gas, that'd be good. Unfortunately, I know nothing about West Point. Uh, wow, that house is a little fucked. Uh, we could also just be on our way. Oh god, why is it so late at night? Why are we starting so late at night? Ow. Could you don't? Have I already fucked myself? I don't know. I don't actually know if that was a bite or a scratch. God. Everyone's coming out of the woodworks here. Already. Well, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die early. Okay, now. Can we tear up some stuff? Yep, bitten. Damn it. And there's no point. We're just gonna we're just gonna go die. We're just gonna go die. There's no point. We're already dead. I don't know how that happened. That is the most unlucky thing. Hey, bud, do something. Do something. I'm just gonna eat the rest of this. Sadly. Let's be honest with ourselves. Scott was too bohemian for this business. He was a little too uh, uptown. My god, this zombie is the worst at attacking. That was easy. It took so long for him to kill me. Wow. Uh, burglar. Oh, that's why I can get the ball club. Okay, it must be a burglar specific thing. So, we stopped caring about Scott. Fuck Scott. Underweight. Slow learner. Slow healer. No, not slow healer. Anti-gun. Uh, prone to illness. Weak stomach. Slow reader. Short-sighted. Let's see, we're going to get strong. I 
thick skinned no. Uh, prowess blunt. Okay, so we did have the prowess of blunt. So it wasn't going to actually break that quickly. And what else should we get? Expert driver. Sure. Definitely that. And we could be prepared. Cars, eh, that's just some maintenance supplies. Very easy to lose characters in this, huh? Oh yeah. Uh, as soon as you're bitten, doesn't matter when, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how well you take care of yourself, if you are bitten, you're dead. You have like a week until the infection spreads and you become a zombie. As soon as it hits fever, you're done. But no matter what, when you get bitten, you are, your time is limited. That's for sure. Let's get the pack. And let's find someone interesting. Patricia, you got that like smooth criminal hat and I respect it. Let's go with you. No cure at all. No cure. Uh, unless you mod in a cure. If you mod in a cure, of course, yeah. But other than that, no. There is no cure to the zombie virus. You simply die. If you can be scratched. You can be... You can receive lacerations. All sorts of stuff. But if you are bitten, you die. It is just a matter of time. There are mods that allow you to create a, a cure, but I don't have any of them on, I don't think. Now we got the hiking bag. Let us carry a little bit more. And do we have some interesting stuff in here? Well, for one, we got a red pen. We'll grab one of them, grab the pencil. Got some grapes and processed cheese. Unfortunately, it's perishable. So it won't really do us well on the road ahead. We got a flashlight, sure. Hate that it calls it a hand torch, but flashlight, sure. It's just a good habit to have to keep your weapon at the ready when you go through a door. Sheet, eh, no. Now we're taking with us right now. Now we're not going to be staying here. Uh, no. Useful stuff. Oh, well, a four color, four color big pen. That would do me well. Means I don't have to carry the individual pens. Uh, crossword magazine for the entertainment value. Electricity volume one. We, we've already got electricity. Uh, Lane's auto manual. Definitely want to take that. Word search magazine for the entertainment. Magazine for entertainment. And yeah, there's not a whole lot in this starter house. There is a lad coming up to me. Unfortunate for you, baseball bat is pretty good. Unfortunate for me, I can also hear someone. Ah, that's who I hear. A couple of that. Boom. And go away. Quit your shit. All of ya. Let's rip some clothing. That way we've got some bandages should we need them. I'm going to learn my lesson. Uh, striped t-shirt, sure, rip that, and the, what else would you rip out of that? Okay. And we'll rip this and the socks. 
little panicked, apparently. I don't know why it keeps starting me, like, in the dead of night. It's the strangest thing. Okay, knock, knock. Anyone home? Is there actually anyone home? Well, it's not trapped, or not trapped, but, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not fucking alarmed. I guess that would be a trap. So, grab those. Ooh. Not a whole lot of useful stuff right there. I mean, useful stuff, sure. But not particularly useful to me right now. Looks like this person was just moving in or just moving out. Got a whole bunch of cigarettes. Should I need them? I don't. But they reduce stress, so we'll take them with us just in case. Hopefully we do not make... Uh, oh, fuck. What's your name again? Charlotte? Patricia. Hopefully we don't make Patricia into a chain smoker. We'll take a book, we'll take a magazine. Back door. Back door. Uh, antidepressants, good. Bandage, very good. Sewing kit, good. Pipe wrench. Interesting, but no. Add just some gubbins. Ooh, we got a hunting knife. Put that on us. Got a gas mask. We'll grab one of because why not? We're not going to take the 1911 mag or the 556 five, rounds because of the whole like uh, gun averse thing. Plus, they don't even go together. 1911 takes 45. Okay, I'm going to go away from those people. Uh, I should. Also find a, hello, hello, how nice of you to drop by, shame you gotta get going so soon, ooh, digital watch, oh, fuck off, all of you, fuck off, no, damn it, oh, tell me that wasn't a bite, tell me we didn't just lose Patricia too. Nope, we might have just lost Patricia too. What are you doing, Patricia? Yep, bitten. I'm throwing every game. I'm throwing every game here. I don't understand. You guys have seen me be decently good at this game. Fucking hell. I just realized this... I can, I can load things. Okay. So we're just going to make a general, a general thing for it. We're going to do burglar, make a general loadout. Fucking, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, underweight. Slow learner. Uh, out of shape is gained if fitness goes below level five. Fitness is already low below level five, but it does do two minus two fitness, so that would not be good. Uh. What else? Anti-gun activist. Yeah. Prone to illness. Weak stomach. Slow reader. Short. What did I just take? Bad teeth? No. Short sighted. Strong. Thick-skinned, 
There's something else I didn't take that I usually take. What was it? Slow healer? No, it's not slow healer. Oh, well, I definitely want Prowess Blunt. You know what? Fuck Thick Skinned. Let's do... Dexterous. And where's the one I'm looking for? It's like... Oh, it's like the opposite of death. It's just like you, you hear all the things. Keen hearing. Okay, so we need another minus two one. Fuck it, cowardly. Why not? Fuck it. You are interesting. Philip Hall. Will you last? Who's to say? Well. This is where we died the first time. Ah, uh, well, this one's got a screwdriver. That's good to have. Classic wristwatch. Do we have a... No, it didn't look like we do. So, we'll wear that. At least we know the time. 4.50 a.m. Jesus Christ, what are we doing up? Well, let's go end our past self rightly, huh? I think we were up here. Oh, is that us? Is one of them us? I can't tell. I don't think so. I mean, we'll take them out anyway. Oh. Here comes the panic in it. Oh, there we go. Black, black digital watch. Boom. There we go. Now we got some more information, too. Uh, yeah, that looks like us. Grab the baseball bat. Because why not? It's a baseball bat. It's useful. Well, there was our lad. Grabbing the belt. Grab the chips, grab the rags, grab the sheets. Scott, you keep your key ring. Uh, we'll grab the water bottle, though. Okay, let's take a second. Figure out where we are in relation to Louisville. There's our home in Louisville. And here we are. Oh, so West Point is the town that we went through. So that means this this car right here. Well, we don't have the key for that car. Because our boy Terry had it on him. But it means we have a somewhat pre-scouted path. We just need to find some good food. We just need to find some food. Well, some means of entertainment like the books. We can find some good non perishable food. And that usually means we gotta find ourselves a can opener. But seriously, what is it with all these fucking places having canned food and no can opener? Oh, fuck me.
Jesus Christ, hunting knife. Has nothing else on it. That's unfortunate. They seem to have been caught in the throes of passion. Uh, 45 rounds and M625, but I'm not, not going to mess with it. This place is super fucked, and I would like to leave now. Uh, we are going to make our way along quick as we can. See about some food and some other uh, indispensables. Got a magazine, sure. A little something to do on the road. Everyone locks their doors. Frankly, good, but I don't know what's helping right now. There we go. No alarm, good. Well, hello, bud. Someone just outside the window, bopping away. Can opener, hallelujah. Will you stop? I'm trying to get some beans. Okay, let's see what's behind door number two. Hmm, a whole bunch of nothing looks like. Uh, yeah, like crafting for idiots. Tool disassembly. Sure, take it. Anything interesting in here? Book? Yes. Uh, oh, magazines. The magazines are always good because the magazines you don't... Here's the thing. Uh, the magazines are for recipes. Whereas the books are for training up levels. Thus, to get as much use as you can out of the books, you have to be a certain level. But the magazines, you can read at any time. And their effect will be just as pronounced. Ah, so much food. Take all that food. Down in there. Rotten meat patty. Gross. Anything interesting there? Ripped sheets, sure. In here, nothing. In here, probably nothing. Hey, look at that, I was right. Who the fuck? Boomstiv. Back here, yep. Creepy bastard. Peeping Tom. Got a cheap survival knife. I think we're good without it for right now. Uh, can I repair it with a baseball bat? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. So we got a little bit of food. Uh, it might be a... Oh, God. Let's run past him. He's a little panicky. It's okay. Yeah, we just running. We're we're just hauling crev. All for it. All for it. I am not a fan of the fog, I will say. Not a fan of the fog. Oh god. We're just running into horde upon horde. Thankfully, panic gives you that crazy energy to just keep going. Uncomfortably hot. How? It's 60 degrees outside. My guy, I know I know the northerner is a bit different. Ask me how. But fucking, it's 60 degrees, my guy. That's chilly enough. That's enough to be reasonably comfortable running outside. I think you're fine. I'm 
also going to not run all the way because I definitely, I definitely want to maintain some of my stamina. I don't want to end up getting there and it's just like, yeah, you are drop dead tired, period. But we can't build a zombie proof bunker. We can, however, well, not zombie proof, more zombie resistant than zombie proof. Let's take a bite of grilled cheese here. Mm, Look at that. We can, however, comma, to build a zombie bunker. would require a lot of skill investment and time because it would require either or both of woodworking and metalworking. And those like, woodworking is not too hard to level up. Metalworking can be a little more difficult. Because metalworking, not only do you have to find a propane torch that you then have to keep topped up with propane, uh, you also have to just find things, find metal things to work on. Which is a little, it's a little less common than you think. Not to mention uh, metal components. Which I guess one of the more prominent ways would be to break down cars. Oh, there's a cop car. That would be good for looting if I had time to loot. Uh, hello? Wait. How am I re- Wait, how am I reaching the end of my map? Ah, oh, that's why. Here's the lad. The lad we left behind. The lad Terry left behind. But our boy Philip here. Oh, he's a different breed. He is going along the trail of Terry to hear his story. To live his ways, to see his life. And it will only end, the trail of Terry will only end in tears. And Terry himself. The legend, the man, the myth, the mohawk. A nice black digital watch. A bloody leather jacket. You know, we'll take it for right now. We'll take it. Because leather. So yeah, you can see we're already a little exerted. So we definitely want to, we want to take it a little easy. We're going to walk as much as we can. Because we are not, we're not as materially prepared as Terry was. However, we are mentally more prepared than Terry was. Terry did not know the path ahead of him. Philip does. Philip has heard the tales of Terry. Philip knows what waits out there for a man on a mission. For those who wish to go to the great city of Louisville, he knows what awaits them. Terry, huh? Terry had no idea. Terry was a man with a dream taken far too soon. But Philip... Oh, Philip knows the cost of that dream. The price of that American dream. He knows it. And he is well prepared to pay it. Up to and including, should it need as much, his life. Philip wishes to follow the trail of Terry. And his Herculean effort. To the end. 
You know, fort with turrets on the walls being constantly fed ammo from factories that can tear apart the Zeds as they show up. Uh, I have no idea if there's a way to make ammo in this game. That's the biggest flaw I find in that. Uh, that I, I don't think we can do like conveyor belts and stuff. I'm sure there are mods for it though. Hmm, lovely. I don't know. These are still these are still pretty good when they're cooled off. A chance of the rain to get some dinner. Uh, be safe out there, my guy. A hurricane ain't nothing to scoff at. If it seems like it's getting too bad out there, fucking double back. Go home. Order Uber. Let someone else do it. Okay, here we go. The railroad crossing. We're at high exertion, minus 80% melee damage. I hope we don't run into anything too spooky out here. It is foggy as hell. Which is a bit of a problem. Because we're not going to know what we're running into until we're right up on it. Hmm, roughly. Don't mind the munching sounds, that's me. Actually gonna take a little sip of soda. I probably shouldn't keep it paused when I do take a drink. Just because it will help our boy Philip to recover from his exertion. Matter of fact, can we just sit for a second? Let's just sit for a second. Sort of recuperate our strength here. As the fog still stays and our hunger grows, Gordon. Now let's eat some beans. Yo, let's open up some motherfucking beans. Yo, they fresh. Get them beans in you, son. No one to stop me from littering in the apocalypse. Is the fog rolling out finally? A little. We are fed. And so is Philip. So we are going to try and walk as much as we can there. Just to maintain our exertion. Because as you, as you can tell from the map. The longest road is still ahead of us. By quite a ways. We've only just begun the Trail of Terry. And nowhere is safe. We will have to contend against sleep deprivation at some point. Most likely when we actually make it to Louisville. I mean, who knows? We we did clear out a couple of couple of places nearby and we started doing our carpentry stuff. So we might be able to we might be able to find one of the cleared houses with a bed that we can sleep in before we go and take care of Terry. He says as if it's actually guaranteed that we're going to make it to Terry. But, you know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Ain't nothing wrong with being hopeful. And I also can't speed up time while I'm moving around, too. So that's a bit of an oof. 
Uh, thankfully, we do have a backup baseball bat. Even if we don't have a way of repairing either baseball bat. Uh, but I think we should still have... Eh, we might have some repairing materials in, in the house in Louisville. I don't know. It's, it's hard to remember. We may very well not. Uh, oh, I saw a lad over there. Oh, I see a, I see a couple lads coming for me. Is it only the two of you? No one else? Okay. Let's take care of it. They might have interesting gubbins. And I do like my gubbins. No. No. Waste of time. At least our boy is is doing well on the panic front. He's not he's not freaking out. Philip, though prone to panic, keeping a calm head. And I appreciate that about him. Especially considering the worst is definitely yet to come. Because there are zombies littering this stretch of road. Littering it. We're going to try and take care of what we can. Because it's just going to be a few less zombies that are actually tracking us and trying to take us down. This feels like a better idea to take care of them while we can. Because it might be a little easier to get away from seven zombies than it would be to get away from 70. Anything in here? Okay, fine. I'm gonna break the window. I didn't want to use it anyway. Alcohol wipes, very useful. Duct tape, very useful. And I can duct tape my bat to repair it. Jump over the barrier. Do I have to stand still to do it? Yes, I do. Give it some quick repairs. Okay, well, I mean, we, we restored a good bit of the bat. The bat's looking a little better than it was. Hmm. Can I avoid them instead of fighting them? Okay, well, I'd still run into you. That's okay, though. Oh, uh, a couple of you. Stomp. Okay, we got another one coming. Uh, nothing useful on him. Pop them. Okay. Uh, we got a holster. For what it's worth, we'll wear it. Who knows? We might need a backup at some point. Not going to take the shotgun. Everything else is kind of useless to me right now. I'm trying to like, skirt around the trees here. Sort of hope they don't notice me. Well, he does. Well, the rest of them don't seem to. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take one as opposed to six. Certainly. Uh, up here, however, we got... Yeah, we got two there. That's okay. Two's not bad. Two's... Still not as good as one. We're going to try and avoid where we can. Because we are also going to have to worry about our bat's durability. We got a couple of boys have already been stomped over here. Terry putting in the work. This, this is the legacy of Terry we're passing here. This is the legacy of our man Terry. Look at this. Death. Destruction. 
demolishment. These boys saw Terry firsthand, and they did not live to tell the tale. We got a school bus. What could we pick up in a school bus? I I am kind of curious. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I had a hunting knife. Mm. Well, what's it? What's it looking like on the condition? Ooh, the condition's better actually. So grab that hunting knife. We'll just trade you, bud. Trade you. Ooh, there are ooh, there are a few people there though. We're gonna try and sneak over. Nope, nope, nope. They hear me. They see me. They want me. They want me, and that's a problem. I remember there are houses on the other side of this fence. And we got following us. Two? We can outpace him. We can outpace him. I also have to keep a little bit of a lookout. Because I remember somewhere along this stretch of road. Oh, yep. There's a couple lads that Terry left behind. I was just about to say. I have to look out for the lads that Terry left. There we go. Let's leave them in the dust. They can't climb that fence, fortunately. We'll take this lovely, this lovely path instead. Through the woods. This is great. Being out in nature, that's a natural antidepressant. That's true fact, by the way. Very true. Out by the river. Don't know why we're panicked. We're okay. It's because you can hear them. You're all right, Phil. My guy, you're good. Don't worry. Okay, it appears to just be one. That's fine. We'll get him. Okay, there's two of them. It's okay. We'll put a little distance. And we'll get to work. There we go. Oh, there's a third. I hope this is not the start of something bad. Okay, nothing there. Credit card. <laughs> But otherwise, nothing. Nothing. Okay. And Phil continues on his way. Just trying to take any opportunity I can to grab a bite of Snadwich. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, they're all here. Other side of the fence, please. Hmm? Oh, God. Oh, this is just bad. No! My baseball bat! I gotta leave it behind. Leave it behind. At least he auto-equipped the new one. Looks like. Ow, I am scratched. Try and disinfect on the go. Oh, come on. Outpace him a little. Outpace him, and then we will apply the bandage. Some ripped sheets. That's all we got. That's all we need. I know you're freaking out, my guy. I'm freaking out a little bit too. It's fine.
You know, it's one thing that I never really understood. It's one thing that I keep asking, and no one seems to have an answer for. Is, oh, I walked right into them and somehow survived the telltale. I wasn't paying attention. I should have been. That's on me. Wow. They just hate that house. It must be the homeowners association. I'm against them on principle. Uh, but yeah, one thing I never really understood. How do zombies not hunt other zombies? Can they really tell the difference between a zombie and a person? Like, what is the difference even to them in their eyes? What What is the difference between a zombie and a person? Okay, this is the start of where things start getting bad here. We cannot fight all those people at once. Let's try and like reroute here. Oh God, it's starting to set in there. And we got fireworks, cool. Philip the Devout is in a bit of a bind. He's still faster than them, if only just. Now he truly is walking the path of Terry. He is walking a mile in Terry's very, very worn shoes. And, of course, that's now Dirty Bandage. I don't actually even know how many ripped sheets we have that are actually clean. That's a bit of a problem. And we're drowsy, too. Hmm. The path of Terry really kicking off now. Oh, boy. The hummus. Oh. Lovely. Give it a second before we turn around to look. Oh, yeah. They're all there. A little less scared now that you realize you can outpace them, huh? Maybe lose them in the trees a little. There we go. Outmaneuver. If we can't outpace them, we'll sure as shit out with them. Yeah, they are still following. Bit of an oof. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. That gives 90% less melee. And yeah, that gives 30% less melee. Does it give trip chance too? I have no idea because it's not actually doing the thing. Uh, no, it doesn't give a higher trip chance. You know what? Let's go away from them. That seems like a good idea. Go away from everyone. Just hop some fences because, as we know, zombies are not known for their fence hopping ability. Through a tree, that'll surely throw them off our scent. Surely throw them off. Zombies well known for their tracking ability in the sense of scent.
a little hungry. Let's grab some chips. Some lovely chips to eat. Boy, I hope there's not like seven zombies on the other side of this wall. Oh good, there isn't. There is a trailer park though, which is the next worst thing. Oh boy, there's a lot of them over there. This was a mistake. I'm I'm going back over. Later, nerds. Gate to be king. Appreciate the follow, my guy. Welcome to the facility. You seem fun? Uh, thank you. I try to be. I try to be, even though we are just following the path of Terry, which is long and arduous. And truly, oh, not for the faint of heart. Not for the faint of heart by any means. But us... Change our bandage on the fly here. Oh, God. Ha. Uh, for those of you that are unaware of what we're doing, the last Project Zomboid stream we had, we were playing our boy Terry. Terry Mitchell. And he was an absolute unit. Survived all the worst of it. He was a fireman. And he made his way from Riverside all the way to Louisville. When the car ran out of gas, he started walking. We are going on the path of Terry. Terry died tragically. May he rest in peace. And we're sending our boy Philip here to go take care of the Terry situation. Because someone, A, needs to pick up where Terry left off, and B, I was going to say bonk since the thing breaks so much, fair enough. And B, we need someone who will put down Terry because Terry got zombified. Terry got bitten. Which means someone needs to stop the menace that is Terry. In honor of his memory. Unfortunately, the path of Terry is long and arduous. No one can truly be equipped for this travel. But our boy Philip, he feels up to the task. So we have taken off from West Point. And are now walking the entire way, the entire way, to Louisville. Oh, God. There's so many of them right over there. I'm going to have to, like, cut the corner a little sharp. Just, like, avoid that big mess of zombies over there. We need Terry t-shirts. Absolutely. If I ever start making merch, then I, I will definitely make sure it's a We Remember Terry. With Terry Mitchell's face emblazoned right underneath. Uh, it seems we have a gas truck. Who the fuck has got a gas truck just parked in their driveway? Oh my god. I am not going to attract the attention of the horde over there. Please no. Uh, also, just because it's in my mind now. Uh, remember everyone, if you haven't followed already, be sure to do so, because once we hit 169 followers, nice, uh, we get, I, I, we get, you get, I get to make a cover song on YouTube. Uh, I already have a song in mind. No, you don't get to know just yet. And yes, thank you, Eli. There is the Discord in the chat. Uh, if you are interested in joining the Discord and you can see all the information about the stream, when we're going live, what we're going live with, schedule, all that lovely stuff, as well as talk with some of our lovely community. You know, a thought just crossed my mind, Eli, of like, why didn't I think of this earlier? I should just mod you at this point. <laughs> because you're always on the stream and you post the, like you do the Discord notification thing. I feel like I should just make you a mod. Me a mod? Hmm. Has to think about it. Oh god, why are there so many in the forest? Did I just stumble across Burning Man or something? Am I the man that is burning? The power. 
the absolute power. Unlimited power. I'm just training them at this point. This is what all those years of COD Zombies were worth. That That's not true. I have not played years of COD Zombies. I played COD Zombies years ago. That does not count. Better than might be cool. Yeah. I don't imagine it would need a lot of attention. It'd just be like it in instances like this where my hands are not free to do something. That you would be able to do something for me. Like, for instance, putting the Discord command in chat. Or like if someone's being a dick, I guess. But usually, people in the facility are pretty cool. It's been a long time since we've had anyone kind of dickish in chat. Which I'm very thankful for. That is not an invitation to be dickish in chat, everybody. But <laughs> I'm very thankful for this lovely facility and the people that reside within I'm almost afraid to turn around. Mm. My fear was warranted. Definitely warranted. My fear was necessary. My fear was correct. We are now real exhausted. Real tired. This is the true trail of Terry. This is the true experience. A true experience you will never have. Philip is walking a few miles in Terry's shoes. You got minus 95% twice melee damage. So we're doing less than 1% damage right now. Uh, very decreased vision, can't see behind us. Increased muscle stiffness. Don't know what that entails. Uh, endurance regains disabled. Not good. So we actually can't recover from exhausted because we're tired. Uh, you can't. You can sleep despite high pain. So that's good. Uh, if we were in pain, exhaustion would let us sleep. We are not in pain. Physically, mentally, always, always pain. But physically, we're fine. We're just gonna like skirt the river as close as we can. It's probably not a good idea. Are we being chased? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. Yes, yes we are. By quite a few people. They're all in like the corner of the screen. Hello? Okay, not all of them. This one is now added to the fray. I understand why that would panic you, Philip. That is a startling revelation. My guy, could you kindly shove off? This would be a fantastic place to camp if you people left me alone. That's just slightly slower at least. We need a good tail fence. A good tall fence. You're right. We do need a good tall fence. Uh, there is a heightened trip chance from exhaustion though. And a lowered climb chance. So there is an 80% chance we'll climb over. And a 20% chance that we don't climb it at all. And short things, there's a 60% chance, roundabouts, of tripping and losing something like our secondary bat. Our primary bat, I guess. We are using our secondary bat. Okay, there are you. Can I just, like, knock you over? 
like continually stomp on your head maybe I'm doing this in the hopes that this is the only one around And that killing this one will allow me to sleep. Fifty-seven years later he dies, pretty much. This is not a quick process, but it is the best we have. Because stomping on their heads is massive damage. Okay. That's more than Terry could do, honestly. In the very fact that in his lowest... Philip has killed a zombie. Completely exhausted and tired. Philip is still ice cold, baby. Safe to rest, maybe? We're gonna see. We have to sleep sometime. Looks like it's safe. We awaken. Refreshed. If you will. Shoulder, yeah, I know. Uh, let's try and clean our rags. No, unsafe for drinking. Okay, so we can't actually clean our rags, but we do have some more rags. So, we can still... Oh, wait, there's no wound anymore. Lovely. So our shoulder's fine. We can now make the rest of our journey in relative peace. Oh, we're actually coming up on the train station. So it would be best to avoid that. We definitely want to go through here. Oh god. Hello. Neck. 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 Bandage. Bandage. Neck. Neck is a bad place to get injured. Neck injury will take us down quick. Miracle of healing. Absolutely. We have a neck injury, but it's okay because it's wrapped. We still have wrap. We're not going to sprint all the way. We are still going to shuffle. Heal on to be hurt again. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. But we are out here in the wilderness. In nature. Only so much that nature will do for us. We are hungry, though. Uh, let us see. What do we have? We got canned potato. Let's open some canned potato. Fuck yeah, eat canned potato. I don't know what canned potato is, but fuck it. That was some good canned potato. What is that vehicle I'm looking at? What is this? Some sort of military vehicle, but there are so many zombies over there. I don't want to be there. Tank truck, kind of. And we got to get through the... Fuck off. Get through the checkpoint here. Uh, let's rip all the clothing here. See if we can get ourselves some more good stuff. It's the angle. It's one of the ones with the round tank on the back of flutes. Oh, okay. You're saying it's a tanker truck. I thought you were saying that, like, it's a truck built like a tank. Okay, we're going to have to fight our way through here. Terry found a hole, but... Philip only knows the one way. Ooh. Boom. Good. I'll have it for my trucking days. You had trucking days? Man, you think you know somebody. We're in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in. 
driver of 18 wheelers when I was 21. Damn. Like I said, you think you know a motherfucker. <laughs> All in all, the fuck? You guys hear that? Gunshot. Somebody's popping off over here. Well, that's unfortunate over there. Uh, yeah, there's barbed wire along the whole length. Oh, we're going to have to get through that checkpoint. Okay. It's like a secondary checkpoint because of course there is fucking military you think you give people enough money and they just they'd stop using it for superfluous things no okay it's just the four i was about to say don't tell me i have incurred the wrath of a horde Got him. Nice. Okay. Uh, anything useful? Wait. Leather jacket. I'll take. 14 years ago? Yeah. You know. No one ever talks about anything that was years ago. So let's see here. We got the two here. Is this it? Is this all that's at this checkpoint? I find that difficult to believe. There we go. That sounds more like it. Give me those scissors in your back. I need them. Oh, God. They broke through. Wait, if they were beating on that for so long, it, it's kind of convenient that they just broke through, huh? There we go. They did the hard work for you, kind of. I'd say I was thankful to them, but I'd be lying. Uh, well, where's the, where's the scissors? Uh, the scissor lady's over here. There we go, scissors. Can I get in here? No, of course not. What about the other side? No. This one, however, no. Shame. If I had a sturdy weapon like a crowbar, I might be able to beat it down. We got an army lad here. Thank you for your service. And thank you for your gubbins. Military backpack, capacity 28. Hmm. Definitely better than the school bag. So let's grab that as primary. We have to find an vegetarian. This is very true. We do indeed. First, we're upgrading our bag. Pop that all in this military backpack here. There we go. And we're going to equip that on the back. Nice. We are now the tactical. Before we go into that also, I'm going to try and Lewis Hamilton this bandage. Alcohol wipes. Bandage ripped sheets. Okay. Come on, lads. Oh, 
All right. Nothing interesting on them. So let us go forward. Oh, yeah, that's right. It didn't really hamper us much because we'd found a truck. We got in here. Bunch of nothing. These crates can be opened and contain fuck all. Needs to be a communication outpost. Just tell the whole rest of the world we're fucked. That's what you get for having an I Love New York hat in Kentucky, my guy. Do we know where Terry's house is? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So, we look on the map. We are currently... Where are we currently? We're here. And Terry's house is right here, the blue. So we're not quite in city limits yet. We're making our way there. Might also be some interesting gubbins in this military outpost, too. None there. Bop. 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 Can you just please knock over? Okay. There's two of you now. Not about. Not about. Okay, there's more than two of you now. There's a few of you now. We're just going to serpentine through these tents. And lose them. We're not going to lose this one, unfortunately. Okay, we're not gonna lose most of them. Okay, let's just let's just fucking go. Uh oh, we're being funneled. Run, yes. Uh oh, this was a dead end. Yeah, fire truck. Stay down. There we go. God, you guys have been following me from all the way over there. Props to you. Why the low damage? Uh, because of the part, part the panic, and part the exertion. Both of those lower damage. It's not nearly as bad as it was. Just because, like, wait, is that a large backpack better than the military backpack? No, just barely not. Yeah, it's better than it was. Just by the factor of the exertion is lower, but the high exertion has minus 80% melee damage. And we are tired now, which is minus 80%. Just by the fact that we've done so much. We've gotten tired. Unfortunately, yeah. We gotta sort of fight off the hordes to go back the way we came. Because there's kind of no way out from here. Kind of a killing floor. Just repeatedly stomp. There we go. Lovely. We also do need to change the neck bandage again. Which is fantastic. And now the exertion's even higher, which means we're doing even less damage. God, come on. Can't leave any doors unlocked? Come on. Wait, can this just... Okay, that can just open. And that's the... worst texture I've ever seen on a vehicle. 
this SWAT vehicle. You. Go away. My SWAT vehicle. So we need to rest and get our boys' courage up. Absolutely. Well, it's not, it's not the courage that's doing it to us. It's the fact that we're so exerted. Yeah, see, there's there's the truck. There's where we left that boy. We parked it there. And we set off the rest of the way on foot. This is the end of the Trail of Terry. And we're going to get there just the same way. Well, the panic too, right? Eh, no, we're not. Okay, now we're a little bit panicked. But the panic is not so bad. The panic is not as bad as the tiredness and the exertion. And we just got a little more tired. Lovely. So we're going to need to find a, a cleared out house near Terry to sleep in. And we're going to need to find... Yeah, just, just a way to get rid of all these zombies that are on us. No, stop that. Stop following me. No one invited you. Where's the M60 when you need it? Well, we're, remember, we're also Gunnivers. So, in a bold stroke and my personal life can't use guns like I can't imagine you ever seen a robot wielding a machete it's not nearly as intimidating as two big fucking turrets really does not do for the for the scare factor it's a much higher you a much higher probability of having to use those machetes then there is the turrets. People see turret and they're like, ah, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to go back the way I came. They see machete and think, I could probably out damage that. I could probably get that done. Ripped sheets. We still got some ripped sheets. We're probably running low on them, unfortunately. I'm going to try and go through the forest to avoid those two much as we pop, probably can, hopefully. Oh God, we've got a bit of a horde behind us. Hopefully the woods help us lose them. Just by the very nature of like climbing around in here. Maybe we'll put down distance, I don't know. We've got one right on us, though. So, uh, it's looking like a worse and worse idea. Yeah, you can see the worse knockback and knockdown chance. As well as the reduced damage. But it doesn't reduce the damage nearly as good. You don't see Red Buddy two... <laughs> didn't see Red Buddy two weeks ago. Don't talk about robots with blades. That concerns me. That concerns me. All things considered. Oh no, that's right. That's not where we left the truck. Because we left the truck parked in front of the house. Where it ran out of gas. Because we left the engine running. Because everyone was upon us. Okay. Okay. There's a couple more over here. Can I avoid them? I need to avoid as much as possible. Because I need to be able to get somewhere where I can just not. Oh god, but they keep coming on. Guys, just leave me alone, okay? Just a man on a mission. 
I'm not the succulent brain meat that you think I am. Green Buddy still seems fun. Never gave him any of the beta combat software. There's your problem, beta. I feel like that's the first problem there. Giving a giving a robot beta combat software seems like a bad idea. Never figured out why he likes moving things instead of actually organizing. I think he thinks he's organizing. But eh, it mixed results. I also didn't know this house was here. I unfortunately cannot get in because it is barricaded. It was beta because I hadn't tested it yet. I hadn't installed it to test it yet. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can still test it without giving them actual weapons. Like give them a stick. Give them a stick. And be like, all right, show me this subroutine. Point them at a target. Because <coughs> I feel like if you're making a combat software, the first thing you want to get down is the IFF. And then if you have that down, everything else is more safe. Took a blade off a fan, Jesus Christ. Nope. Nope. Got two lads that are just in the middle of the fucking woods. Why? Why are you two in a woods? You're right, how in Sam's hell did I forget the IFF data? Ah, Jesus, heck. I've picked the wrong place to step out. That's concerning. Please leave me alone. Oh, no. Actually explains so much. Yeah. For those that don't follow, IFF uh, is a thing that's usually used for, like, hailing ships and sort of thing. Uh, stands for Identify Friend and Foe. Basically lets you know who is who. I see fence. I don't. I must have passed fence. Here's the thing. Fence will only do so much for me. Like if I can if I can make my way to Terry's house, I think Terry's got a good fence. It's at the bottom of the screen. Uh, well, now it is forever out of my reach, unfortunately. It's past the uh, the building for the homeowners association here. God, can you guys just fuck off for a moment, please? I'm think. Do I still have more chips? Do have more chips. Ooh, Gib. Eat the chips while walking. No need to be hungry in addition to all this other shit. There's just no need for it. Also, anxious. Mmm. Not ideal. Can I walk through this? No. Wait, no. No, I can't. A damn shame. I'm certain we're on the right street. I just didn't. No, no, we're not on the right street yet. We're going to be on the right street. The next street, the double, double wide one. That is like to the northeast. Or I guess it would be north because it's sort of isographic. We don't have time to check the map. We don't have enough time to check the map by any stretch of the imagination. Also need to expertly weave our way through the trees without getting hung up on them. If we get hung up on them, we're going to get attacked and we're going to get overwhelmed. If one attacks us, it's going to stop us and then the rest will 
just dogpile upon us. If we keep moving, however, they can't hit us. At our current rate of movement, even though we're slow as hell, they can't hit us. Oh god, I forgot about the big ass horde there. It's a problem. We might have to fight our way through the horde before we get to Terry. The horde that we are slowly building up behind us. I lie. We're not slowly building it. It's just fucking happening. All these zombies are on an intercept trajectory. It's Terry all over again right now. It really is. We are following the path of Terry as true to his nature, as true to his lore, as true to his story as gospel. Terry's gospel is being followed to the letter here. And in that, we thank him for giving us the strength to persevere. Through Terry, all things are possible. If we make it out of this, then as soon as we can actually start preparing a proper base, I'm going to make a Church of Terry. A, a monument dedicated to perseverance and the power of sheer will. That the will to do can overcome any obstacle. But only if we make it out of this. Because, of course, if we don't, then, I mean, we were kind of wrong then, weren't we? The long walk, the lack of sleep, the injuries, the horror. I mean, to be fair... The start was much better than Terry's. We start off a whole lot better. You go look back at the last VOD for this to remember Terry's design so I can remake him? Absolutely. I believe, if I remember correctly, Terry was, was a, a man of darker complexion and had a white spiked mohawk and some, like, a serious beard. If I remember correctly. Make a cameo on Buddy Counts. There you go. The most true gentleman of stature and poise. Terry Mitchell. A beacon of light and hope to us all. We walk on in his name. I'm just like keeping my eyes peeled for the icon on the map, for the fucking fence, for anything. Because I, I don't even know if I have enough space to like turn around to check and see how many are behind me. I'm sure they stretch off the screen. Eh. Oh, yeah, they do. They sure do, bud. Oh, boy. Wait, I'm seeing corpses? Yeah, that's true. Those are Terry kills. Terry did try to meander his way into, into town a few times. Yeah, that's, that sure is a horde, bud. That sure is. Okay, the road is merging. That means we're getting close to Terrytown. Terrytown, USA. Oh, I'm seeing it on the map. You see that right there? Right, right. Like, all, just barely off the TV. Yeah, that's Terrytown, USA, boys. What's this guy's name again? This guy's name is Philip. His name is Philip Hall. The first acolyte of Terry. Okay, Philip. Now is your time to shine, my guy. Climb this fence. Yes. Well done, Philip. Well done. He's a little queasy. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Terry Mitchell. Terry, buddy. Oh, we can't use his bed. We can't use his bed. They're still coming. Terry will be back for you.
We'll make sure that your legacy lives on. No matter how many fences we have to climb to make it happen. Oh god, we gotta go through a shrubbery. Unfortunate. We're just going to meander our way over here. And hope that we are indeed losing them. There are some corpses here. So Terry has been through here still. Can I climb this wrought iron fence? Yes, I can. Quite easily. I did indeed clear this place too, because that's a Terry corpse too. Let's lock the door. Lock the door. I know the lights are on, but it's also 7.20 p.m. It. You know what? We can sleep on the floor. It's fine. We can sleep on the floor. It's fine. We'll relieve our sleepiness. We're a nervous wreck. That is unfortunate. We're also queasy. A little bit dark in here. Hello? Okay. So. Can I? I've got books. I've got books. I read a book. Perhaps that will take down my anxiety. It did. I'm now agitated. Let's read another. Lovely. No more agitation. I'm still a little queasy. Uh, plus 25% incidence? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, but let's eat some fruit cocktail. That sounds like a party food. That sounds like, yo, we did it. Let's have some fruit cocktail. Fuck yeah. Now, if that don't satiate your appetite, I don't know what will. Let's clean our rags. That might be very useful. Let's wash ourselves, because maybe that's what's making me nauseous. It's just the fact that I'm probably filthy. A little anxious now. That's okay. We're fresh, ready for the day, even though it's not even 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, actually, is this healed? Yes, it is. Lovely. We got our knife. Not quite as effective as a baseball bat, but it's definitely in better nick. We good now? Eh, we're better. Better than we were. Shank him. There we go. Lovely. Good shanking. Gonna systematically make our way back to Terry. Sunlock. A little bit. Ooh! That sounded like a hard hit. I 
All right. The moment is upon us. Our boy Terry has been through so much. And we have to be the ones to rid him of his pain. Stab. 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 No! Oh, fuck. That was weird. It didn't hit me, but it sure looks like it did. But yes, time to lay Terry to rest. Even if I had been bitten, I would have stayed long enough to take care of Terry. As we would have to. Let's take out the baseball bat for a second. I'm going to put in some work here. Because the baseball bat can hit multiple people at once. How it is right now. There we go. I don't think any of them were him, were they? No, I think our boy, oh, our boy is in all that mess. Holy shit. Wow. That needs some serious repairs. Yeah, but we have nothing to repair it with right now. Okay, lads. Who wants to live forever? Bring out the knife. Still got plenty of them in there. I don't want to just like draw them out one at a time here. Kind of like do a little whisper like I, hey. Oh, I can do a little bit of whisper. Hey, you don't have stones to throw, yeah. But I'm not without sin, so I can't cast the first stone. I, too, have suffered as Terry did. I, too, bear the blood on my blade. There we go. Nice. Over here, hey nerds, who wants a knife? A lot of zeds, yeah it is. Somehow getting two of them stun locked, that's a feat. Okay, enough about feats, time to go. They all on me now. Haw oh, by. I do not have anything to take on a pack that large. Oh, they keep calling them Zeds. It's an old habit from reading the original book version of World War Z. Yeah, I figured. I figured it was something like that. I just sort of accepted it as it was. Luring them away from Terry's home. That's a very fair point you're making there. I was more just putting distance down, though. I was like, all right, let's, let's fall back and regroup. Because I sure as shit cannot take on that many of them all at once.
run away. Need a new weapon or repair the ones we have. We need to repair the baseball bat is what we need to do. Blah. Stab. 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 Uh, three of them is iffy. One of them is not. Yeah, the knife is hurting. Yeah, it's absolutely the poke war. Okay. Also got another survival knife in here. Uh, it's in better nick than ours, so. Well, then our hunting knife. It actually does a little more damage than that hunting knife, too. So let's use a survival knife here and see what we can do to get through them. Oh. Upgrades are upgrades. Take what we can get. Absolutely. Where's our boy Terry? He's here somewhere. Burst down his door. I'm going to have to remake that door. It's sad looking through that house now. Oh, this isn't the right house. This is not the right house. Next house is Terry's house. I get some duct tape for the bat. Uh, no, I know that's the wrong house. I'm very aware of that now. Uh, we can get duct tape. We can get glue, adhesive tape, or wood glue. We need one of them. Boy, you. Heard the good word of a Lord and Savior, Terry. I okay, sure, that happened. Uh, and who we have here? We got a couple of them, not too much yet. We're a little exerted, though. Not ideal. Nope. Fuck off. Got one. Get the other. Reminds me of what group I used to be part of called Dog Meat. Uh, what was that? Where's our boy? This is his home. I'll dog meet their lord and savior. <laughs> Fuck. There he is. There he is, our boy Terry. Oh, Terry, how to come to this? How to come to this? Don't worry. Don't worry, bud. I'm not I'm not going to use the knife on you. We got to preserve your your worldly goods. We're going to put you to rest. Rest easy, Terry. Knowing your time is done. Our boy has achieved what feels like the impossible. Rest in peace, Terry Mitchell. An absolute unit. A testament to true manliness. 
An absolute godsend of a person. Metaphorically pour one out. For the homie. We'll, we will pick up where he left off. I will definitely hydrate. Gotta wear the leather gloves. We have defeated the Terry. Now, now we must become the Terry. Oh, and Terry still had Wayne's key ring too. So we got Terry's and Wayne's key rings. Oh boy. Oh lads. Oh, that makes me sad. We now carry the weight of so many expectations and so much. There's so much upon our shoulders. We get the car back too. We could. Uh, hold on. Okay. For some reason, my expressions got locked. I don't know how. Yes, we could get the car back. Uh, maybe it should be the TW church. Wayne was the first, right? The, Wayne was... Wayne was the burn victim. And Wayne... Wayne fought and died valiantly, frankly. We'll keep a gun on us just because you know we gotta keep that thing on us. But now, this is our home. And it is up to us to build something fantastic. So many govens. Our boy had all the govens. Terry was truly an inspiration to us all. God, I feel like I'm at a eulogy. Uh, this is where I put the planks, so let's place some down here. Let's not drill them. No drawer, sturdy stick, splint, spear, campfire, 2 by 4 place item, for fuck's sake. Is there a way to dispose of bodies, or do they just despawn over time? We gotta dispose of them, is what it is. Our lad here, he he deserves to be disposed of. I don't know how, but he deserves it. We will put him over here, away from the, the rabble, the riffraff that killed him. The disgusting unwashed masses. Uh, we do still have all the stuff in our military backpack, too. Let, let's sort of place this somewhere as a bug out bag. Place it up there. There we go. We'll bury him when we have time. Did we get everything we need from his pockets? Yes, we did. We did indeed. Our boy, he had a lot of stuff. Uh, as well as some good food in here. Because we we do still need to get our own body weight up. Yeah, we are at 69. Nice. But we need, we need higher body weight than that. So we need something calorie rich. So what do we have that's real calorie rich? Uh, we don't have a whole lot. In all honesty, it's calorie rich. I mean, the chocolate is okay. It's from here we have hope so long as we're smart. Yes. It's very true. Uh, oh, we didn't get everything from his pockets. Because I meant to grab a couple of other things. So let's grab that. 
So we're going to grab the rest of the planks if we're able. As well as the nails. Uh, scrap wood can be left. Light bulbs we'll want. We'll take the digital watch. We're not going to take his, we're not going to take his fit. No. His fit stays with him. We've no right. He deserves to be remembered as he was. The only thing we've taken is the gloves, and that's because we need the gloves. Let's wash all this clothing. And wash ourselves because, man, look at our face. We are a little beat to shit. There we go. With his weirdly pale face. So. Back to... God, what were we even doing before? I mean, we were training our carpentry, that's for sure. But, fuck. Yeah, this place doesn't have a basement. Yeah. I don't think we can really create one either. Uh, can I? Yes, I can loot from there. So let's grab that stuff. Let's grab the leather jackets. Rip them up. Magazine, ripped sheets, screwdriver. Those magazines. Tomato paste. Uh, we will rip the belt. Get some leather from that. Rip all these leather jackets. Get some leather strips. Uh, hello. It's all of them. Okay. We're just ripping them one at a time. That's what we're doing. Pop the magazines in here. Pop them in. Magazine. Oh yeah, that's right. We did have we did find some bleach. So at this point we really just need a mop. To be able to like clean this place up. Even though thankfully. We've kept it in pretty good condition. Like Terry kept the place clean. That's for sure. God it makes me. It makes me sad talking about him. Anyone else it makes me just sad. He was gone too soon. Boy didn't deserve what he got. He didn't. But we will carry out his legacy. We'll carry out his design. Terry won't be forgotten. Let's see here. The wristwatch. Door hinges. Doorknob. Uh, what else should we put in here? Nails. Definitely. Uh, school bag, I can't really do anything with. Let's put it somewhere. I'm like, that's a weird way to put it, but let's just pop it there. There we go. Uh, screws we can put there. Thread will keep on us. As well as a needle. Just for, the, just for patchworks. As well as the scissors. Scrap electronics we can toss away. Screwdriver we will attach. Uh, no, 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 no. Dismantle a flashlight. Wait, we have more than one flashlight? Okay, let's dismantle a flashlight. Good. Uh, screwdriver 
we can dismantle a digital watch. So let's dismantle that one. Why not? Toss the scrap electronics away. Also dismantle the cordless drill. I don't want to do that. Uh, let us put in a container. Then we'll grab one. I need to put plenty away though. Uh, these planks need to go. Hunting knife can stay. The extra hammer can stay. Which hammer? That hammer. That hammer can stay. The driver knife's coming with me. Bat's coming with me. Where was Terry's bat? Terry had a bat. Matter of fact, I remember we got we've got us some uh some weapons up here. In the bedroom, I believe. No, not in the bedroom. Am I remembering the other one? I think I'm remembering the other one. Uh, where did we put our weapons? We had a place for our weapons. Uh, it was not in here. I'll tell you that right off the top. Uh, not in here. Also, that light should be on. Not in here, but it should be. Hey, look, glue. I'm not going to use it just yet because I... F oh, an adhesive tape. I'm not going to use them just yet because I feel like we have a bat that's in better condition. Somewhere. Somewhere here. I mean, we're not going to go back out right now because we're dead tired. But I feel like we got something for it. Come on, close the door. There we go. No? Nothing there either. We had to have had it in here. We had our weapons somewhere. Well, here is our, our drugs. Collection of drugs. Always use the drugs. Don't use drugs, kids. Uh, fuck, where did we keep our weapons? Was it in one of these extra rooms? It wasn't in here. It sure wasn't in there either. Damn, really? Man, I did not fucking organize this place well enough. First off, I need to put these planks down. Good God. Place item. Wait, am I not actually placing the item? Is there an amount of how many planks you can put on one space, I guess? Sure, okay. Uh, maybe I kept it in here? Okay, hammer and hunting knife. I feel like I had more than this. I might be thinking of the other house. Might be thinking of the other house. So let's repair our bat a little. So we only use the glue. Unfortunately, we don't have enough adhesive tape. 
Only got one out of four. We can potentially repair a little bit with the glue. Okay, we've gotten we've gotten a bit back on it. Uh, the baseball bat is definitely is its time is limited. That's for sure. But for us, we need sleep in a proper bed. That will alleviate what ails us. Uh, except for the anxiety, apparently. The anxiety just goes through the roof. For no one real explicable reason. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's read a little. Let's read. So as we all know, reading is what cures what ails you. That's absolutely what it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. There are readers among us who would argue this. Uh, <laughs> do I dare? No. I just pop the wine on the table, not the ground, please. If you would be so kind, Philip. As to not be just, this this Terry's house, remember my guy. Pour on ground. Yeah, just fucking pour one out for a real one. There we go. On the table. Lovely. Uh, let's see about a snack. Our our lad Terry kept a hella good fridge. Including some bourbon. Uh, you know, let's eat the tortilla chips. Why not? Get some lovely tortilla chips. Okay. Now. We will head out in the rain and, and the cold. Wait. The bat. Lads. It's Terry's bat. We carry a piece of him with us, always. It's so fucking dark out there. Good God. I'm better off staying inside for right now. Oh, boy. Oh, bad. Uh, in the meantime... Let's take a look at some of the things I can craft, perhaps. Uh, and let's read some of these crafting recipes, come to think. We definitely want to learn some of this stuff. Like how to service the standard cars. Uh, what else we got? Disassemble guns. That, that seems to fall in line with our lad here. Uh, good cooking magazine, sure. Uh, da, da, da. The metalwork magazine. The farming magazine. A lot of organization right now. A little bit. Prep work, kinda. Right now we're reading a bunch of the magazines just to, just to get the crafting recipes. Just to know what Terry knew, you know? So we can attach knives to spears. Hmm. Yes. I see. So we can craft a spear and then just attach a random ass knife to it. That does sound better than just a random knife. I will say. Uh, we can also attach scissors, a screwdriver, a spoon for some reason. Or machete, or even a, a letter opener. Like I've heard of people getting stabbed by letter openers. I don't know about that. As well as forks. Uh, we can make a tent kit. Interesting. Uh, what about the carpentry stuff? So we can do drawers. Oh, we can build a spiked bat. 
We need some nails for a spiked bat. Uh, I'm not too sure about building the spiked bat though because it would ruin clothes. So I, I kind of want a, a better pokey stick, a little bit. But it would ruin clothes, that's the thing. So I'm not too sure about it. Oh, we can make a burrito. We can add so many fucking things to the burrito. Look at all that stuff we can add. Add wild garlic, we can add tofu, squid, calamari. Who the fuck puts calamari in a burrito? Uh, we can butcher a bird, get some small bird meat. We can make biscuits. Ao. Uh, dismantle a bunch of stuff. Can clean some stuff. Act oh, we can just clean bandages with the water we have on us. Interesting. And we can disinfect. Get some sterilized rags or sterilized what? Sterilized bandages is what I mean to say. I actually don't like calamari myself. I don't think I've had calamari myself. I have had octopus. Actually, we we had some takoyaki when we went out to uh, do sushi today. We did sushi after I got my hair cut. And it, it was very good. It was very good. Uh, the, I, I've tried squid as well, and squid's a little strange because it's very rubbery in texture. It's like very spongy. So there's a lot of give in it. So I can see why, why that wouldn't be for everyone. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. I like it just fine. But takoyaki, I would absolutely recommend. So what that is, is, for those of you who don't know, is a fried ball of like chopped up octopus and some other stuff. It's very good. It's a, it's a very like, very like guilty pleasure snack food in sort of Japanese culture. It's like a, oh, I shouldn't, but, sh but I should because I've earned it sort of thing. If you get what I mean. Our immediate plans, now that we perform the ultimate sacred rest, our immediate plans are to train up our carpentry. Same as Terry was doing, but for a different purpose. We are going to be building the Church of Terry. There's a bug on my wall. I want so badly to get up and squash it. Hold on. I'm going to get up and squish this fucking bug. Oh, the little bastard retreated into the corner. It can fly? Why can it fly? We need to build a Terry sign. You're right. You're right. We do need to build a Terry sign. Why can I hate that. I'm not getting up to get it now. It scares me a little. There are too many flying bugs. Too many bugs can fly. Why did we allow this to happen? As a people, as a species, why did we allow so many bugs to fly? Who authorized this? Uh, okay, so we've got a fenced-in area for dogs. Cool. Have we cleared out this place? Uh, I don't think we have. That's an empty gas can that we might be able to use. Uh -huh. Uh, some extra metal stuff that'd be interesting. Interesting to have. The fucking piano. Hell yes. Play? Can I play it? Can't play it. That's a shame. Just like in real life. Uh, grab some cereal. Those are also very calorie rich. Marinara. Sure. Grab some marinara. Some, oh, plenty of canned food, including dog food, because of course there is. With those three outside, yeah. Got some aluminum. Vegetable oil, very calorie rich. Matter of fact, that would make you very unhappy. You know, we're not going to do that right now. 
But sugar, however, sugar would make you happy. Maybe not straight sugar, but sugar definitely. Ew, rotten bread. Fruit jam. Cool. Maple syrup. Oh, fuck yes. All sorts of cool shit. Alright, so let's start disassembling some things. Start with these chairs here. And most times we're probably not going to get anything of use. Just because we are untrained in it. But like here, we got some nails. We got some nails in the first one. And that's okay if we don't get a whole bunch of stuff. Because we've also got Buku Planks. Our boy Terry, he set us up. He set us up. If we never want, if we never wanted to get planks again, Terry probably would have helped us along that. Grab the nails. And we need to do this because, for those of you who don't know, uh, in this game, to basically do anything with, like, building, you have to have either levels in carpentry or levels in metalworking. And by far the easier of the two to level is carpentry. Because there's just so much more wooden stuff than there is metal stuff. Like, for instance... This fancy low table. Look at that low table. It's gone now. I can disassemble the rat and couch. And get a plank, even. Look at that. Baby's first plank. And a rattan chair. Fantastic. Lovely. Some bar stools and an oak countertop. I can assemble all these things and get carpentry experience. I mean, so long as they're actually empty. Like this counter, it's got something in it. It's not going to let me assemble it because it's got stuff in it. So I go through to each of these. We'll take the aluminum. Why not? Hello? I said we'll take it. Orange soda and water bottle, why not? Gross. And just pop it. Assemble the oak counter. And the oven looks like, yeah, it requires the metal working tools. So we're not going to worry about that. Lovely. And yeah, it's just going to be a lot of this. Uh, the sink looks like it needs to be metal worked. However, so we're going to leave that for now. Pop that off. And you can see if we go over to our skills here. Yeah, we're already nearly halfway there with our carpentry experience to level one. Uh, anything in either of these? Nope. And here it's looking uh, proper destroyed. Can I woodwork a piano away? I can. 17%. I'm, I'm going to leave that piano alone because frankly it's kind of nice. I kind of want it. I probably should have left the stool. That's fine. Don't really care about the stool that much. Uh, farming will take electricity volume two, sure. Comic book, sure. Crossword, sure. Uh, all that can kind of go. This can go. Disassemble. And yeah, it's gonna be a, a little bit of this. It's gonna be a little bit of this. 
because we need to actually get our carpentry level up to be able to build all sorts of things. A symbol of mirror and drawers has its items in it. Okay. Socks. Well, I'm glad that stopped me. Philip, my guy, you can't let anything stop you. Not anymore. Nothing alive can stop you. And well, we can disassemble the hand torch. And I hate that they call it a hand torch because it is a flashlight. Uh, can I disassemble this couch? I can. Lovely. Uh, cooking volume one I'll take. The rest of it can go away. Yeah, so this will be what it'll be for a little while. But in the meantime, I hope that you're all doing lovely out there. Uh, I'd like to hear from y'all. If you want to just talk about your days or what have you. And I hope that you're enjoying the stream. Because I am definitely enjoying myself. I'm glad to be back with our lad. Glad to be back. I'm glad to having avenged Terry. And righted what was wrong. Glad we can sort of put that, that little, uh, I don't know what you would call that, a saga? Let's go with a saga. Put that little saga to rest. Because Terry definitely deserved the rest. Uh, let's, what we got here? We got marshmallows. Take the marshmallows and eat them. That filled him up enough. Lovely. Take that stuff out. Pop that away. Pop this away. And we are just taking whatever other than the scrap wood. Just like where we can. Like we're taking the planks, we're taking the nails, disassembling the hand torches. trying to like keep what we can and like things like the uh the scrap wood not the most useful not to mention we can get it pretty much anywhere we don't have to keep a bunch of scrap wood on hand if we want scrap wood we can go and just scrap anything pretty much uh, disassemble the lamp and disassemble the drawers Got some screws from it. Lovely. Tear apart the bed. Oh, we got a couple of nails. Got some plank. Fuck yes. Some more plank. And another... Oh, nope. Let's disassemble the door, I guess. Assemble the chair. And we are hungry once more. Maybe we'll eat that fruit jam. Why not? Some delicious jam. Only had some toast. Uh, not a whole lot in there, not a whole lot in there. It's not like we can really disassemble those yet anyway. Just by the factor that we can't disassemble the sink without, uh, metalworking tools. So take the denim jeans out, take the t-shirt out. Boom. Take apart the wardrobe. Plank and nails. And yeah, a lot of this stuff can be a little bit grindy when it comes to Project Zomboid, but it, I mean, it's a survival game. That That's kind of all that can be said about it sometimes. It's just, that's, that's what a survival game do. It gets kind of grindy. Oh, we have reached level one carpentry. So 
take apart the desk, take apart the chair, take apart this lamp. So we are getting a little bit of electronic stuff in there as well. On disassemble bedroom drawers. There we go. Lovely. And tear apart the door. So tear apart the door. There we go. Because we also got to remember to take care of the doors. The doors can be torn off as well. Grab door hinge. We are also getting a little bit over encumbered. But that's okay. We'll tear apart as much as we can and head home. Frankly, I am a little surprised that Phil survived the journey. Not because I didn't have faith in Phil, but because I didn't have faith in myself. It's a fucking hard road. It truly is. For anyone that doesn't think that's a hard road, I encourage you to get this game and try walking. Just walking from West Point to Louisville. And see how far you get. Like, even, even in this sort of pseudo-easy mode that I've got going with it. See how far you get. Oh, it do be a little stormy out here. A little bit stormy. Uh, let us also mark off this lad as rated. I feel like I should also decide on what mark to give a place when it has metalworking material because I don't often take that back. Just because the metalworking material is very heavy. But usually if you want to take the metalworking stuff, you got to come back and get it. Uh, ooh, we are getting a little bit exerted because of our heavy load, probably. But that's okay, because we're right down the road. It's not like we got to go between cities. I'm, I'm feeling that, like, post-trip elation that I was with Terry as well. Which is, like, kind of bonding me to Philip, too. Just by the factor of like, oh my god, I'm so glad that I don't have to make that trip anymore. Uh, and then, you know, what happened with Terry happened. And then I was crestfallen, I was heartbroken. You put you put your heart into somebody. And then they go and die to a zombie. I, I say that, it does not, I it do not mean that as disparagingly as it sounds. Really don't. Because, wow, Terry put in the fucking work. He gave it his all. Nothing but respect from a boy. Okay, pop these boys over here. There we go. All right, and we're going to go ahead and go to intermission here. Alrighty, so we have made our way back. We've started our grand plan. We're going to make ourselves the Church of Terry uh, with an honorary mention to our boy Wayne. And yeah, all that's left now is to do it. Uh, it's train up our carpentry and actually get it done. So, you know, let's see how it goes. Yeah. But in the meantime, like I said, we're going to go to intermission. So let me go ahead and set our timer here. Boom. There we go. All right. So we're going to go on intermission. And for those of you that don't know, we do this about the same time every night. Uh, go for 30 minutes of intermission while I go take care of stuff. You can do the same thing. You honestly, you could have done any of this stuff beforehand. Like, you know, getting up, stretching your legs, getting a bite to eat, whatever it is. But maybe you just wanted to stick with the stream. In which case, first off, thank you.
I definitely do appreciate it, and I will always appreciate it. And second, now you can, because I'm going to do the same. So neither of us will ever have to be one the wiser. Uh, 30 minutes are going to be on the clock and on the screen, because neither you nor I can really be trusted to keep that track of time. Less so you than I. <laughs> let's be honest here. So, all that being said, uh, let's actually put 30 minutes on the clock, because it doesn't seem to want to do. There we go. We're going to be back in a few minutes, but until then, stay tuned.
I'm alive. I'm alive. No one can prove otherwise. No one can prove I wasn't alive. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I usually time that pretty well. Uh, I usually get back a couple minutes before the intermission ends uh, and do some good. But yeah, that didn't really work out this time. Uh, we were very, very preoccupied outside. There was some, there was some strange noises. We're hearing strange noises, someone calling out Jesus and a couple of like pained sounds. More like, more like, like scared sounds, but like quiet to the point where it's either like someone is on drugs or getting some really unenthusiastic dick. So that was, that was very strange and it required attention and I, <laughs> I got back in only to realize, uh, I'm online. Oh no. Uh, so we are back. Uh, hello, Zomboid. There we go. We are back. Yes, with our lad, Philip. Uh, so looks like it's about time to batten down for the night. Yeah. But before we do, we're gonna go ahead and put away some of our gubbins here. So I believe the. Sort of the first, uh, what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say something. What I'm trying to say is that the words, hello. I promise I'm usually good at this. <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank. Oh my God. What is happening to my brain today? I have just absolutely flatlined in my head crafting level three carpentry is when we get to make floors that's what i mean to say uh in that same vein we got to get crafting ca crafting carpentry oh my god i can't speak guys i'm sorry this is just what's happening here Yes, we need to get carpentry to level three uh, to be able to actually make floors. And I don't actually know what level we need to be to make walls, let alone any roofing. I think for roofing, honestly, we'll probably just have to probably just have to use floors on like a higher level, yeah. For that. That'd probably be what it'd be. So let's finish putting away some more stuff. Got the screws, got nails. Hello, just all the nails, please. Uh, what else we got to put in here? We've got the gas can. We'll probably keep on us for right now. Uh, everything else will probably go somewhere else. So. A couple books to put away. One in particular for it. Well, let's also pop away this word search magazine. Pop away farming volume one. Electricity volume two. Cooking volume one. Comic book. Crossword. Hello. Uh, the DIY crafting will read, actually. Before we put that away. That's for tool disassembly. All right. And let's po let's pop away some of our food. Because we got a lot of food on us. We don't need this much food on us. <coughs> oh, apologies. That one just came up out of nowhere. Right, let's keep the vegetable oil for right now. Just because it's something calorie rich. Let's keep the orange soda. Put the marinara away. Keep the maple syrup, put gravy mix away, because I don't know what I'm going to do with gravy mix. Crackers, dog food. Uh, that should be it for that, yeah? We got some chips, we got some granola bars, piece of bandages, battery. 
Uh, wait, no, that's not the right one. Pop that one in there. The battery. Actually, the battery we can keep on us. You never know. You never know. Things get useful in the strangest situations. You never know. Uh, what else can I pop away somewhere? So stack encumbrance 2.5, so I would not be able to put all of them in a fanny pack, because fanny pack can only hold up to one pound worth of stuff. Uh, adhesive tape probably can get put away. The spare bat can get put away. So I guess I'm going to actually figure out a place to hold my weapons. So let's grab that knife. Let's grab this knife. Oh, we do have a mop. Oh, we can clean. Lovely. We have that capability. Uh, let's let's find a little storage space up in here. Somewhere, well, up somewhere in here. We'll probably repurpose one of these rooms as a sort of armory, so to speak. Uh, leash, it's useless. We'll put hunting knives in there. We'll put a there. Uh, where is it? Survival knife we got equipped. I'm not going to put that in there. We're going to put the spare bat in there, though. The M9 mag we're going to keep on us. Just because, God forbid, we need to use it. Uh, our aiming skill is not good. And would do us well to be prepared for it. Stompies. Nice. Uh, we're going to take and rip this leather jacket. Get some nice leather strips there. And we're going to pop ourselves upstairs and go to sleep. Make sure to close the door behind us because I am indeed <laughs> just paranoid. Hydration. Very important. All right. So. Carpentry is the main goal right now. But if we look around, we've got some other things. So the green stuff, uh, as we can tell from this park. So we've got a little park right here. Yellow's Restaurant and Entertainment, that's a big restaurant. Community Services, the purple. We're going to look for Retail and Commercial, which is the bright green. Actually, is that the bright green? or No, the park would be like this dark green here. Yeah? I feel like. Yeah, so I feel like this is a shop right here at the end of that street. So let's see how far we can make it down the street before we start getting into real big numbers of zombies. Um, let's also grab a little bit of the cereal. Most important meal of the day, everybody. Don't skip out on breakfast. We are going to have to do something about all these bodies. There's a lot of bodies. Here we go. I had to make sure that my, my toggles were not uh, toggled on and just like static. It's happened a couple times this stream. Yeah, so we'll just... Make our way up here. Uh, oh, we got a lad here. Alas, I'm sorry. Or, I don't know. Hard to tell. We got a zomble. Well, we had a zomble. Past tense. And I do like that we get maintenance up every time we, like, wear out a weapon. That way we consistently get better at repairing our weapons. Even though we don't have to repair them that much. 
See, so we've cleared out that one. I don't think we've cleared out the one on the north side. No, we have. So from here on, we have not cleared. Uh, but I don't believe that there's any prepper places nearby. Fuck you. Oh, go away. There we go. Lovely. And nothing real interesting on either one of you. We do have a truck and a few people. Okay, so we'll zoom a bit. One of them seemed to have had a head and hand injury. They seem to have been variously injured. Are they all cops? Well, don't worry, lads. I mean, it's kind of a poetic thing in this, right? Because I took the burglar. I don't think they were cops. They they look kind of they look kind of kind of policey. We'll say that kind of threw me off a little bit. Can I just like shove you over? There we go. Much better than wearing out my weapon. If I've just got one near me, like a couple near me, it's not too many. I should just be aiming to knock him over, as opposed to using up my weapon. Uh, but let's see what we've got here in terms of a shop. It's probably like a little convenience store or something. Yeah, zipper market. Hmm. What we got here? Got a whole bunch of shit. Uh, did he have bandages? Yes. Alcohol wipes. Painkillers. Vitamins. My guy, don't, don't break the window. Just come in the door. The door's unlocked. You didn't have to do any of that, my dude. It's all needless. Uh, vitamins. I think just about everything in here is shelf stable, too. High highs? Is that really like a discount ho ho? Plonkies? Oh my god. We're getting real campy on the. on the, uh. fucking trademark circumvention. Got some pop. Got some beef jerky. Oh, wait, what was on here? A Louisville map. We got Riverside map. Have I seen a map of Riverside? Pride of the mighty Ohio. Uh -huh. it sure as hell isn't the fact that it's named the Ohio. Ha ha. Michigander joke. Fellow Michiganders, arise up. Uh, oh, those are... So there's the frozen stuff here, and then there's refrigerated stuff here. Okay. Uh, that's probably all rotten in there, yeah? Well, I couldn't tell you. Uh, we got some choco cakes, granola bar, yep, 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 okay. Down here, some more junk food, junk food. Slurp burp, mmm, delicious. Just like grandma used to make. Got some shirts, tiz t-shirt. Some random magazines and watch, oh. I don't think I've, I've seen a March Ridge map or a Westwood map. Or West Point map, rather. So there's March Ridge and West Point. And that should reveal a decent bit of the map more to me. And so March Ridge is right down here. And West Point is right here. And see how much of that we do. we've explored. We've just missed the downtown center right there. And what we got behind the scenes? Nothing. As someone who's worked in... What is all this? 
that's sitting on the ground here. It's like they tried to stuff up the door. Okay. Money. I love money. Shame it's useless now. But yeah, as someone who has worked at a convenience store, I hate the fact that their bathroom is like behind the counter because you know how you you guys don't know. You don't know until you've worked at a gas station just how many people will come up solely to use the bathroom. And it's like, my guy, you're at, you're at a gas station. You really came here looking for quality, huh? I got something to tell you. I got some bad news for you, bud. Uh, no. Oh, locked trunk. Which means it's probably going to be locked front, too. Hey, my guy. No. No. Now we're doing. Oh, shit. I guess it's not locked. Mold draw map. Don't think I've gotten a mold draw map. Oh, not that. Wanna swap seats here. My guy, can you leave me alone for five seconds? Please tell me that they did not just bite me in the hand. Fuck. We're bitten. We're bitten. That easy. Well, you know what? Take as many as you bastards as we can with us. God, I cannot believe that. I hate that so much. Fuck. Well, one way or another, we're screwed. We have we have died. Is there a door over here? There's a door over here. Oh, this is the stuff I was wanting to see. Okay. Oh, what we got? Back stock, back stock, back stock, back stock. Anything interesting? Back stock, back stock, back stock, back stock. No. Back stock, back stock, back stock, back stock. A lot of back stock. Yeah, no. So, nothing. Fuck. That's horrible. Well, I guess there's no point in training up our our carpentry, huh? So let's just go around as much of the house as we can. As much of the houses as we can. Yeah, I knew that. And we'll just, hello? You guys know the door's open. If we die, we die. We're already dead. Dead man walking. Frankly, it's not even disinfected. We're not going to live long enough to really tell the tale.
So I don't even really think we're going to... We're not even really going to loot the houses. We're just going to clear out the zombies. As many zombies as we can manage. If we're going down, we're going to take as many of these motherfuckers with us as we can. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty damn good. We got off to a rough start. Philip has shown us the way. Ooh, there is some good stuff in there. And we're going to see if this truck can run. Rather, if there's a key for it. Now that I can see... Maybe we can hotwire as many cars as we can. Uh, gas tanks zero remaining. That wouldn't do much good for this one, but still. Let's hotwire it. Uh, what can we do here? Oh, our engine. There we go. We will use our skills as often around here as we can. Give as much of a chance as we can to whoever comes next. No. Into the window. There we go. Just gonna make sure that these places are free of zombie. Like that. That would pose a bit of an oof to whoever else found them. We are de-spookifying this house. That's what's happening. Making the most of what we got. And then when our time is up, well, and go down to Blaze of Glory. That sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, stop closing the window. I also wish I could just chop off the hand and keep playing as him. Boy, that would be interesting. I know there's a mod for that. I'm not going to install it, though. It would make it unfair for all the other lads that have come before him. Can we turn on the lights, please? Are there lights to turn on? Hi there, bud. He's a little spooked, but I mean, Phil, you've you've done what you can, and you are making sure that your life is not wasted. It is sad, though. It is sad. But we are going to try and do whatever we can. We have right pain in the ass to get back here, though. We're going to have to set up, like, some sort of forward operating base. Like, between... West Point and uh, between West Point and Louisville. Maybe we'll make the next character around that. Maybe we'll just like make a carpenter that we can actually have 
like have them be the sole purpose is to make a sort of halfway like a rally point between them let's take a moment right now pull up our map where would be okay okay that's what i did uh, where would be a good halfway point because we start like here-ish i guess a good halfway point would be in and amongst these houses yeah just a little stretch of housing So we're going to make a halfway point here. We're going to make a green. Now we're going to make a blue checkpoint. Right here. So we'll know where we're coming from and where we're going. God, the distance between those two is even bigger than the distance between these two. You know, that's probably where most of Terry's trek came from, was getting from Riverside to West Point. Frankly, it'd be less of a trek to get from wherever the fuck this is to West Point. What is this, Muldra? I think it is. Pretty sure that's Muldra. So yes, we will attempt to make a checkpoint there next time. At which we will be able to resupply. Maybe we'll be able to grab food and some medical supplies, perhaps. Hello? Okay. There's someone in here that wants out of somewhere. Okay, not in here. Not in here. Here, no. Next one. And open. Open. Back off. Stomp. Stomp. There we go. Matter of fact, what we should do is we should, we should more properly mark Terry House. Let's go ahead and, hello? I guess I must have leveled up something. Not that it makes much difference now. Again, we are just going through here, sort of opening everything up and making sure that everything is cleared out. Hmm. Unbarricade? Hmm, I see why. Stay down. Boom. Well, shame old boy here just went ahead and bit it, I guess. Oh. No round in the chamber. That tells a story. Oof. God, my guy. That is morbid. Now, let's go ahead and... Better Mark Terry House. This is going to be a very important location for us. We'll make a much bigger house symbol. And the cross, because it is going to be 
the Church of Terry. There we go. You know what? Lean into it. Lean into it. What are they going to do that hasn't already been done? Philip, you're going to go down in a blaze of glory. These fucking zombies have taken everything. They're not taking your spirit. There's no way that that fucking alarm only got two zombies. No way. Not a shot. There's no shot. Let's also go ahead and like, yeah, let's dress our, or not dress our wounds. Well, also dress our wounds, but also clean our bandages. Because I mean, I, I don't want to speed it up. It's already pretty well sped. Nothing here. Nothing here. All clear. Lovely. Hello. I'm hearing a I'm hearing a knocking sound. Not from here. Oh hello. Did you like in? Bad move. And nothing here. Okay, cool. Now let's open up the garage door. Holy fuck. Okay. I should have seen that coming. There we go. Wonderful. And let's take care of this house. Have I taken care of this house already? I don't think I have. Nope. Otherwise, that wouldn't be locked. Eat myself in. This one's not booby trapped. This one's not alarmed. Lovely. Oh, hello there. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nope. And this one. And that one. And the other one. Okay. So that one is also cleared. So we've cleared out this little road. Uh, there are two big residences, however. And I can't deny I'm interested. My interest is peaked. Oh, and there's boys in the backyards, too. Specifically that one. Lads, I'm over here now. Ow. Fine. Want to play that way? We'll play that way. 
Stay down. Can I even climb that fence? We gonna try. Yes, yes I can. Ooh, it's like an apartment building. Okay. Ooh, get wrecked. Your boy Philip coming in clutch. Uh, no, it's not an apartment complex. No, it is an apartment complex. I was right. Never mind. I'm great. They, on the other hand, not so much. Okay. So, shall we clear out an apartment complex then? That's an order. Well, if this is where we die, then we've had a good run. We cleared out a street, and we've started a very noble pursuit. And if it's not, then we will continue that noble pursuit. Boom. Boom. We're just training them. We're gonna build the ultimate survivor. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try and survive. Just because I'm fated to die doesn't mean I won't try. Phillip's a fighter till the end, folks. Fighter to the end. Well then, we're still starting West Point. <laughs> uh, so we can do the construction worker, which gives us three in carpentry or no, one carpentry first off. Uh, we can start with carpenter, which gives us three in carpentry first off. Uh, and gives us one short blunt. Uh, it also gives us two points to spend. So it's a little better than the burglar. Though it doesn't give us as much for the nimble. So. Let us see. And take the usual ones. Slow worker, uh, underweight, slow learner. Gonna go, mm, we could go with restless sleeper. Sleep less hours and 50% slower loss of tiredness when sleeping. Eh. I mean, you don't sleep very long as it is. So, it's whatever. Uh... We're going to stay away from Antigon Activist this time. Uh, let's see here. Prone to illness. Weak stomach. Short-sighted, slow reader. This is 40 points to work with. 
So we could do strong. We got the carry weight. We got the carry weight. Let's do it. Let's do strong. Uh, we could do athletic. Gives us plenty of survivability. So it brings our fitness up four points. Uh, can run longer without tiring, faster run speed, 60% less endurance loss when running or sprinting. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth 10 points right now. Uh, automatically know all recipes that otherwise require magazine or professional knowledge. Mm. No, not yet. Do handy, faster, and stronger constructions. Ooh, that does sound good for us. Because... Just adding a, one to carpentry, first off. Second, uh, more HP to all constructions except walls. Increased building spree speed and increased barricading speed. So, prowess with blunt. Let's do. Do pack mule. Not really feeling that right now. Keen hearing. Definitely. Uh, could do fit. I don't know, though. What else do we have? Lucky seems to just do for, like forging. So it's finding rare loot. Hmm. I don't know. Less likely to be spotted by zombies. That'd be nice. Let's do that. Uh, less prone to panic. Hmm. Uh, we got flexible plus one nimble. I uh, regain happiness and increased rate. Needs less sleep. That would actually actively uh, go against restless sleeper. I was like, yeah, we don't, we don't really do the sleep that much, but hey, uh, the sleep lasts for longer, and it's not quite as bad. So we'll take it. Not affected as much by harsh weather. Eh. Stomps are considerably more powerful. Interesting. I feel like paired weapons and lead foot. Let's see what we can do with that. No, we haven't played a lady. So let's go with Anna Lewis. Because that, that's a pretty wild hairstyle. So Anna Lewis is going to be the one who is going to set up the checkpoint. So baseball bat. Hammer. Uh, ooh, we also have a spiked baseball bat. Interesting. Hunting knife. So let's take what we can. Uh, kitchen knife, meat cleaver. Not the best. Sewing kit, sure. Scissors, yes. Thread, sure.
All right, I can just knock. Uh, ooh, duffel bag. Yes. Equip on back, because apparently I've got nothing in there already. So, battery, duct tape, saw, definitely. Uh, tool belt. Interesting. Uh, let's also see the gun case. What we got in here? A double barrel and a box of shells. Okay, we'll take it. Because it's always good to have a little something. Got to keep that thing on you. Uh, and this has a capacity of six. So let's put the hammer in there. Uh, as well as the saw. And here, no, nah, not really interesting. Well, we got the word search magazine, because why not? Black pen, sure. Hunter magazine, sure. Whole bunch of nothing. Wait, what's a bandeau? Ah, oh, it's a... Wait, they've got a fanny pack, so... Take a fanny pack. Bandeau is underwear. Okay, that's concerning. Why am I rooting around for underwear? Antidepressants, big time. Gimme. Fishing. Uh, you know, sure. Fuck it. Yeah, volume one and volume two. Why not? This man was co collecting the complete set. Who am I to say that that's wrong? Or that's incorrect of him. So where did we start in West Point? Okay, we, we started in a somewhat familiar area. So I've actually got a little shed right over here, too. Or something akin to a shed. Ooh, spiky. Spiky. You don't like the spiky. Yes, Black Digital Watch. Give it to me. Leather jacket. Good. Fuck. Spiky. Spiky. Stompy. Boom. One shot. Oh, fuck. All right. Just bully him. <laughs> bully him back across there. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of them. Fuck. This is a good bat. I like this bat. Not to mention the stompies are good. Bully. Bully. Stompy. Stay down. Bully. 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 Stay. Oh, wow. Real dark in here, my guy. Have you never heard of electricity? Well, that was bu good bully. A damn fine bully, if I ever said so myself. I cannot find the light switch in here. It's so damn dark. It's usually right, right next to the door. And it's not. It's just not. I can't tell where anything is. It's 11.20 p.m. too. 
the sun is not going to come up. Uh. Fuck. Ooh, actually. Just noticing something on the map here. There is a little dirt trail right over here that we're now on. Oh, hello. Uh, we're going to go back to the pavement. Sort of lure them over there because it'll be easier to see them against this brightness. So we got nothing in terms of visibility here. Whole big fat stacks of nothing. Bully. Step. Nice. Yeah, Anna Lewis is the one that you don't want to step on you. So. Where does this dirt path lead? Doesn't seem like it leads much of it anywhere. Kind of leads around the outside of town. Only kind of. I feel like we're better off waiting until the morning. There we go. You just set it going. Ah, no, my headphones. Hello? Little chilly, little hungry. Yeah, just eat the shotgun shells. Easy. Open the box. We got 20 full. Saw off the barrel. Uh, why would I do that? No. Just load it. Getting slowly warmer, slowly colder. Oh, hallelujah. I, I have some semblance of sight in this house now. Is there no fucking electricity in here? A box of 308 rounds, a hand torch. It was here the entire time. God damn it. Uh, a leather jacket. Is that R788 take 308? I don't know, actually. Either way, I'm not too interested in it right now. It takes someone that's better guns than I am. Well, in the game. Better guns than I am at, in the game. Electronics magazine, sure. Books. I'll take the books. And electricity volume one for dummies. Actually, I think we have that at Terry House. So I don't think we really need it. Plenty of canned food. A little bit of ready to eat food. I think particularly interesting in here is a can of beer. Not the biggest fan. First aid kit, I'll take it. Bandage, yes. Sewing kit, yes. Plunger is just a kind of shitty maker. improvised weapon. So let's actually take a look at this dirt path. Oh, there is a couple lads here. 
Have you heard the word of our good Lord and Savior, Terry Mitchell? Let me show you. Bully, bully, bully. Stomp. Oh, they got an M500. That is better. Yeah, straight up holster. Wear over jacket. Then can I wear both? I can wear both. Okay, so let's put the 1911 up there. And M500 has a little bit in it. So let's grab that. Unload it. I unload the double barrel that is. Load one more shell in there. Drop off the double barrel. Lovely. Now we have a better shotgun. Should we wish to use it? God. Just from there to dead. In 60 seconds or less, or your batting is free. Couple more assholes. Bully. Step. Step. Bully. Bully. Step. Rinse, repeat. Bully. Bully. Step. The best part about bullying is that it takes nothing from my baseball bat. Just bully. Step. So fun. There might be some interesting stuff in this ambulance. I am interested to see what is in it. Bully. Step. Now you. Bully. Step. Step. Good. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, sleeping pills. Uh, beta blockers, bandage, antibiotics, yes, trauma bags. Okay, we're taking one trauma bag. I was going to take the suture needle. And the tweezers, come to think of it. Might be useful if we get some stuff in our hands. Yeah, by doing stupid shit like that. Like what you just did. Bully. Step. Step. This car looks to be in immaculate condition. This car, this truck, looks to be in immaculate condition. Please tell me it's got gas. If it's got gas, oh, we're golden. Gas tank, nothing. Uh, that's a shame. I assume that there's no driving that Jeep. Uh, ooh. Ooh. There's a few. There's a few around. A good couple of these lads just chilling here. Oh, fuck. They were more hiding behind the tree. That's where they were the whole time. I should have checked behind the tree. Had I only known. Okay, now I'm leading the entirety of West Point. Now I'm just taking the piss. Uh, climb the fence. Yeet. Hmm. There's always more. There's always more. Just 
It's going to make our way to the checkpoint. We're going to make our way to the checkpoint, and we're going to gather up resources there before heading on to Louisville. We're going to use as little as possible while we're there as well. Would it technically be good for us to gather as much possible here before we move on? Yes. Yes, it would. Are we going to do that? No. I there's West Point is overrun. It would take a lot to retake anything here. Distance, distance, distance. And we jet across the park. Parking lot. What? No, it's a it's a fucking road. What am I saying? Why is no one stopping me? I mean, besides the zombies, they are on a constant path to stop me. See, oh, I was about to say, I see one lad. No, there are seven. There are seven. Numerous lads upon that place. Skeleton? The fuck? There's skeletons in this game? I mean, I guess I must have been dead for a while. Maybe it was one that I killed on my way through as Terry. Who's to say? Who's to say? One of these days when we get through it all, we will inter Terry. We will properly bury Terry. As well as our boy Philip, who made the journey. Hmm, that's a shame. Other one, though. Hmm, that's a shame. Okay, we got some tape. Annotated map. Ooh, it's about something in Louisville. Bandages. Unfortunately, nothing about... Yeah, no, nothing about a key. That's a shame. Some lads back there, some lads over here. That's everywhere. Wow. Okay, that's a little too many lads. For my liking. I'm as much a fan of lads as the next person, but a uh, little, little wild there. Went a little crazy on the lads. The lad cost is too high. Zip our way through the forest as much as we can. Where is all of that food that I definitely grabbed? Yeah. So we got some fruit jam. I should do for a hunger right now, yeah. I'll apparently take some time to eat. There is a lot of fruit jam. And there is the old lad. Still sitting right where I parked her. Hello, baby. We are back on the trail of Terry once again. Yeah, our boy Philip has met an untimely fate. But he took quite a few zombies with him. We're very proud of him. And now the now the uh, responsibility of Terry House falls upon another. Mm. But I think she's pretty well up to the challenge. To say nothing of the fact we're actually going to, yeah, we're going to set up a forward operating base. Mm. Yeah. Good luck Two with things. that. Thank you, baby. I'm going to go lay down. Okay, you has a good sleep. Mm. Thank you, baby. Mm. 
Yeah. I'll get him after stream. Alrighty, so I don't know how much farther we have to go. We are getting a little bit tired. Probably going to make a stand against a couple of these people. Bully. 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 We got a few of them back here. Uh, Y'all didn't hear that gunshot? You don't want to go check that out? No? Okay. Well, if that's the case, then we're a little, a little worse for wear. We're already facing exertion. Before we even really properly get out of West Point. That's not ideal. We aren't even halfway to the checkpoint yet. And we're gonna need to use it. Oof. It is becoming such a slog. I, the checkpoint is gonna be a very needed, very necessary thing. That's for sure. If we can get that set up, I think the slog between West Point and Louisville is going to be much, much better. The thing is, like you've seen, I can't spawn directly in Louisville. West Point's the closest I can get. Other ones being like Riverside and Muldraw. I don't even think I can spawn in Muldraw, can I? I think it's March Ridge that I can spawn in. There's a few towns that I just can't spawn in. Louisville is one of them. Uh, how am I doing? There's still a ways behind me. But they're still behind me, even if they're a ways. So we're just going to putter along here. As much as we can. I don't actually know how close we are. Can we... Ah, there we go. We can zoom out. Aha. Okay, we're getting... We're getting close to the bridge. And then from the bridge, like, the, the checkpoint's, like, up here-ish. So we're getting there. It's going to take us a minute. Take us a hot minute. Are they still behind me? Still a couple of them behind me, yeah. I push you into the water. Bully. Bully. Can I just outpace them on the on the bridge please whatever the hell just flew across my peripheral vision down this road here boy am i glad i'm not actually taking the road
can I check that van? Have I checked that van before? I feel like I have. I feel like it had nothing of particular use. Or maybe I maybe I didn't because I was being chased. Empty gas can though. I'll take. Hmm. Not ideal. Maybe if I can leave the gas can. Oh, maybe if I can leave the gas can at the checkpoint, whoever comes next could fill up the old boy. Oh, interesting idea. I'd have to fuel it, though. I don't know if there's actually a gas station near where I got the checkpoint planned. Bruh, how fucking far are these people going to chase me? Like, two of them, sure, since the bridge. Okay, right. But most of them, since the woods of the riverbank. It's ridiculous. They're going to follow me forever. I mean, I know I'm not exactly walking at breakneck speeds, but fuck's sake, come on. Surely you won't follow me forever. Okay, I see two. I see three, but I only see three. Uh, do I risk it? I risk it a little. I risk it a little. You know what? I'm not risking it. That was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. I could have just kept outpacing him. That would have done fine. Let's eat them crackers. Come on. Get some food in ya. I'll give you a little something something, yeah? No? Not quite? Uh, I don't really have anything else that would give me a something, something. I equipped the shotgun. Honestly, probably not a terrible idea. It's probably not the most horrible idea. Wait, how would you repair it with gun lube? I don't think that I don't think that works like that. Yeah, I feel like it's a better idea right now to have the shotgun in my hands than the baseball bat because this affects my melee damage. It does not affect my gun damage. Okay, so I can't even use a heavy weapon when I'm exhausted. That's new. Or news to me, rather. Okay. The only thing is, is that I'm sort of keeping the shotgun on me as a last resort. Because around here, that shit would ring out for fucking miles. That would most certainly be the death of me. Later rather than sooner, but still. Yeah, there's one that Philip killed. What are we looking at behind us? One of two boys. Not it for right now. Yeah, they're going to stay in the red until I stop moving, too. Because you do not get a good shot on anybody until you stop moving. You have to go, like, stock still to shoot things. Which is the weirdest thing, because, like, you'd figure if I'm walking toward them or walking away from them, I can still get a good shot off. 
I could still do that. In real life, I could do that. You know, as well as I could get a shot off on anything. I could still do it. Okay, let's check the mini-map here. We're closing in. I'd say we're about halfway to the checkpoint. Still got these bitches following us from this fucking... Bridge, though. That's not good. That's not good, because I can't get away from them. Not like this. Oh shit, right. Uh, barricade. Oh, so I've got a good shot on them when they go over the barricade, huh? Interesting. I do have some number of shots. That would attract every zombie nearby, though. Very much so. Let's let's go barricade hopping. This will keep them off our back for a little while. Barricade hop every once in a while. Yeah, you can see that that put them quite a bit farther back. Hmm. Not a group I want to be on the same side of the tracks as. Literally. Hmm. Also, I can't help but wonder what this thing is loaded with. Because there are multiple different kinds of shotgun shells, and it seems to be that a lot of games forget that. That the shotgun shell can be loaded with many different things, from a slug, to buckshot, to like bird shot and grape shot, to weird things like dragon fire and flechette shot. My God, can you stop? Can you all stop? And I wish that I could just turn on a heel too and just bop. Because if I could do that, all four of them would just go flying. But man, pipe dream, pipe dream. So this is something that's just occurring to me. To properly set up a checkpoint, I need to be safe. I need to be safe. And not have these boys following me everywhere. I need to be properly rested, which I am currently not. Just... I, I'm not in a position at the moment to do so. I'm hoping that at least once I get there, I will be somewhat safe. Nope. That was a no. Despite the fact that I had that one aimed up and the green was on it? Nope. Guess I might as well pop another shell in there, yeah? That was a terrible shot, though. Terrible shot. 
with a shotgun, no less. These are supposed to be the easiest guns to use in the game. My god, there's just so many zombies along this path, too. Redonkulous. If I were to turn around right now, I'd probably have to immediately fire off a shot. Just because they'd be on me. Clearly I've taken out a couple boys. I think that was probably Philip. Okay. Got a little something there. And draw on two more. We're killing one. Three more. We're killing one. Mm, good. Fantastic. I love it. If Anna dies out here, then I'm just calling the stream. Because, man, this is just going to turn into me getting killed by everything. Wow. I have gained six more zombie followers. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. How many fucking people are there on this trail? Holy shit. And there's more here. And that's where I wanted to set up the checkpoint. Mmm, good. Fantastic. No, in reality, I probably should have done this in the first place. Climb. You know you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. Damn it. Well, that's that. We're going to call it there. And as interesting as it is to walk the Trail of Terry, I feel like I'm getting nothing done. Honestly. Uh, so, I guess I'm probably just going to take the rest of, I don't know, whatever time between the streams. And just, I don't know, see if I can come up with a game plan. See if I can figure out anything that would be interesting to do for the Project Zomboy stuff. And if I can't figure out anything, I guess I'll try and find something new to do. Hello? Computer? Okay, that was weird. That happened. Everything kind of froze for a second. In case you couldn't hear me before, uh... I'm going to try and come up with a game plan in between the streams. And if I can't come up with anything, I then I guess we'll try and figure out something else to play. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I like Zomboid, but man, I'm terrible at it. I'm absolutely dog shit awful at it. Uh, but nevertheless, that is the stream. So don't go anywhere just yet because we are going to try and find someone to raid. As we do at the end of every one of these streams, we'd like to spread the love to someone new out there in the community uh so let me see if i can find anyone actually is anyone i know streaming right now i don't think so but hey you never know this could be could be uh no one i know so let me see if there might be anyone out there uh, starting up the stream. Might be interesting to check out. Uh, let me check out this person here. Maybe they'll have something interesting going on. Uh, no, not particularly. Okay, I think this will be just another one that we end off without, uh, without a, without a raid. These happen from time to time, so it, it is what it is. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and give my little uh, do's here that I do at the end of every stream. So thank you all so very much for watching this stream. If you enjoy what you see, we've got the YouTube. It's where we post all the VODs, highlight videos when I deign to make them, shorts when I remember to make them, all that sort of stuff. 
And if you're on the YouTube, hey, come check out the Twitch. You can be like Eli over here in the chat. I keep bowing my head the wrong way. It's this way because it's mirrored for me. Uh, but yeah, and you can come be a part of the chat. Be part of the live action. You can be a part of the spectacle. Doesn't that sound fun? I think it does. I hope it does. <laughs> uh, if you want to help support the stream, the best ways to do so, honestly, are just to watch, follow, and tell your friends about it. Because, honestly, I'm terrible at advertising myself. And, hey, maybe you can help me out with it. Remember, uh, at 169 followers, I will do a cover on YouTube, a cover song. Uh, I've already got a song in mind, and the lovely Elijou will be assisting me on how to make a cover. She has made many covers herself. So that's going to be fun. I'm not going to be starting from zero at the very least. Uh, besides that, there's also subscriptions. So whether with your Amazon thing or with $5 a month or more, if you want to hire to your sub, uh, you can get some lovely handcrafted emotes by myself and my fiance. A little badge next to your name in chat, admitting you as a member of the facility. No ads ever on my stream. And you make me smile. And isn't that the best part of it? I think it is. I think it is. So... Thank you guys for joining in on the stream. We're going to be doing, uh, we're doing, going to be doing tomorrow's stream. It's going to be Code Vein. We're going to be doing. We're going to be getting back to that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to get back to it, but I also need to kind of brush up on how Code Vein is played because I haven't played it in as long as we haven't streamed it. So I'm definitely going to have to knock the rust off a bit. Uh, but yeah. I, yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say right now. So thank you all once again for stopping by this stream. And I'll see each and every one of you in the next one tomorrow for Code Vein. But until then, this concludes today's broadcast.